पर अभी वो कुछ नहीं बोल रहा क्यों बिकॉज इट नीड्स इंडिया अगेंस्ट चाइना सो रिमेम्बर एवरीथिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन इंटरेस्ट तो हम भी इतने बेवकूफ नहीं है वी आर वेरी स्मार्ट पीपल सो वी आर लाइक अमेरिका सेट टू अस आओ भाई यूक्रेन वॉर में आओ वी आर लाइक नहीं तुम दूर से बात करो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ऑनलाइन पीपल आई थिंक आई एम क्लियरली ऑडेबल टूडे वी विल डू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बेसिकली देर दीज आर थ्री न्यूज आई कम क्लब दैम वन इज द ग्लोबल न्यूक्लियर ऑर्डर नेक्स्ट इज द पीस डील विद उल्फा एंड सी ए रूल सी ए रूल हैज नॉट बीन नोटिफाइड बट देर वॉज अ रिपोर्ट दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रिपेयर द रूल एंड दे आर लाइकली टू नोटिफाई वी विल डू ऑल दीज थ्री इन डिटेल एंड बियॉन्ड दिस यू रिक्वायर नथिंग एल्स ठीक है ये बहुत बड़े बड़े हैं दोनों इट इज अराउंड टेन पेज इट इज अराउंड टेन पेजेस इट्स कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं पढ़ना इफ यू हैव लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड एनर्जी तो बात अलग है अदरवाइज इट्स नॉट रिक्वायर बियॉन्ड दिस ठीक है तो लेट स्टार्ट पहले से स्टार्ट करते फर्स्ट वन ग्लोबल न्यूक्लियर ऑर्डर वाइट वॉज इन न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली वट वी आर सींग इज विद इंक्रीजिंग पोलराइजेशन बिटवीन रशिया एंड यूएस विद इंक्रीज विद इंक्रीज पोलराइजेशन बिटवीन रशिया एंड यूएस रिलेशन ऑन द इशू ऑफ ऑन गोइंग रशियन यूक्रेन वॉर रशियन यूक्रेन वॉर में मैंने आपको चीज समझाई थी दैट हुए विन द यूक्रेन वॉर अमेरिका इज द विनर ठीक है दिस इज वट वी कॉल इन इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन बक पासिंग what do you call this buck passing it's a policy in ir where a country knows that there is a rising country which is a threat to it but it does not want to address that directly we have seen this once time more also during first and second world war in between hitler's rise when hitler was rising everyone knew that hitler could be a danger but everyone was like if i address the threat then i have to wage a war and nobody wanted that war basically initially no one was interested in the war so they basically passed the buck everyone was passing buck to everyone and nobody addressed hitler and ultimately hitler became so big that they had to had a second world war this time they adopted different policy this time they were like if there is any threat we will address the threat immediately but not directly through third country Say for example, if Russia and USA engage into a war, it will be a nuclear war ultimately. So USA will not ever engage in a direct war. So what USA found? Ukraine. Ukraine, just as you do, for example, you have to take a revenge from somebody. So you appease somebody. Uske ap tarif karte. So that that person fight with the enemy you want. In that scenario, whether your enemy is defeated or that person is defeated, both cases where you are the winner. सेम हैपन यूक्रेन को दे गेव अप नोन एज नेटोज मेंबरशिप नेटो इज नॉर्थ अटलांटिक टीटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज नोन एज कंसेप्ट याद रखिएगा सब लोग इट इज अंड ऑफ कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी डिफरेंट बॉस इट इज अ कलेक्टिव डिफेंस पैक्ट कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन Collective security means the security of one nation is the concern of every other nation on the globe. This is collective defense. It is a you can say it's a chota collective security because collective security operates at the level of world. So the collective defense operates at the regional level. Okay, so NATO is an example of collective defense. Please remember that. So uh, US offered collect NATO's membership to Ukraine. Ab, ab kuch sochiye. If I want to save you. then i will go to any extent to save you i will not just promise to save you and then get you into a war and say ab main kuch nahi kar sakta that is what exactly happened america promised a ukraine a nato membership to ukraine ukraine believed that they will join and russia could not tolerate this dekhi america ko ye baat pata thi that if we offer membership to ukraine russia will never tolerate this jaisa aap apne case mein le lijiye if tomorrow China offers a collective defense pact to Bangladesh. क्या हम सहेंगे? कतई नहीं सहेंगे. Why? Because north में you have China. If Bangladesh joins China-Pakistan axis, then they can cut off India's northeast. That is Siliguri corridor. It's just hundred me hundred kilometer wide. It can easily cut off. Then our northeast, China and Bangladesh, if come together, they can make northeast an independent country. and something we will never tolerate agar bangladesh aisi harkat karega to we will do exactly what russia has done with ukraine so 
ये बात पता थी किसको यूएस को यूएस न्यू दिस थिंग दैट इफ वी ऑफर नेटो मेंबरशिप टू यूक्रेन रशिया विल रेसी प्रोकेट एंड इट वॉज इंस्टिगेशन होता ना कई बार हम जैसे हिंदी में बोलते हैं उंगली करना so you are instigating somebody so that that person react and in the process that person is defeated so ukraine war mein whosoever wins america is the winner but nonetheless the fallout of the ukraine war is that a global nuclear order is being dismantled russia is not very much inclined majority of the treaties which were signed for nuclear are disarmament are more or less dead sirf ek hi treaty bachi hai new start treaty yahan tak sabko samajh mein aaya the background That's why we are discussing this news in detail. अब शुरुआत करते हैं वट इट इज इट इज ऑल दिस ऑल ड्रामा स्टार्ट विद मैन हेटन प्रोजेक्ट प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस नेम मैन हेटन प्रोजेक्ट आपको आपने मूवी से देखी हो ओपन हाइमर ठीक है दैट मूवी रिसेंटली मेड इट इज ऑन मैन हेटन प्रोजेक्ट इट वॉज इट वॉज अ कोड नेम ऑफ अमेरिका न्यूक्लियर प्रोग्राम सो अंडर मैन हेटन प्रोजेक्ट अमेरिका बिकेम द फर्स्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड टू प्रोजेस nuclear weapon in 1945 and if it has done then how come russia remain behind because there was a cold war what do we mean by the world cold war war between two ideas it was not a war between two countries it was a war between two set of ideas we call ideology on one hand you have capitalism on the other hand you had socialism or communism whatever you want to call it ठीक है वाई इट इज कॉल कोल्ड बिकॉज इट वॉज नॉट अ हॉट वॉर दे वॉज नो डायरेक्ट कॉन्फ्रेंट्रेशन दे वॉज इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्फ्रेंट्रेशन बिटवीन द टू सुपर पावर ऑफ द टाइम एवरी वॉर बिटवीन टू नाइनटीन नाइन अराउंड वर द पार्ट ऑफ कोल्ड वॉर इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया पाकिस्तान थ्री वॉर्स ऑल द थ्री वॉर्स एंड इंडिया पाकिस्तान फॉर वर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द कोल्ड वॉर बिकॉज हर बार वॉर में देखिए अमेरिका एंड यूएसएसआर वर अ पार्टी 1962 में वी हैड अ वॉर विद चाइना यूएसएसआर वाज विद चाइना अमेरिका वाज विद अस 1971 में वी हैड अ वॉर अमेरिका वाज विद पाकिस्तान यूएसएसआर वाज विद अस सो यूएसएसआर एंड यूएसए वर पार्ट ऑफ एवरी वॉर इन द वर्ल्ड एवरी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन द वर्ल्ड सो एवरी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वाज नथिंग बट अ पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द कोल्ड वॉर दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड कोल्ड because there was no direct confrontation between two super power but they were indirect confrontation around the world this much is clear theek hai of course cold war was going on so as soon as america became a nuclear power russia was like how can i remain behind so russia engaged into a nuclear race that you will develop nuclear weapons so do i will develop nuclear weapon and it started to progress ab when it was starting to progress too much the world was under threat बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंड न्यूक्लियर वेपन में एक प्रॉब्लम है एक्सीडेंटल यूज इफ यू इवन फायर न्यूक्लियर वेपन बाई एक्सीडेंट रिसेंट में अगर आपने देखा हो वी फायर ब्रह्मोस मिसिल एक्सीडेंटली ऑन पाकिस्तान हैंग ऑन ब्रह्मोस मिसिल इज नॉट अ न्यूक्लियर कैपेबल मिसिल ठीक है वो हैंड लगा भी नहीं तो कैपेबल भी नहीं है ब्रह्मोज आर नॉट न्यूक्लियर कैपेबल जबकि आपकी वी हैव अनदर क्रूज मिसिल ब्रह्मोज इज क्रूज मिसिल थ्री काइंड ऑफ मिसिल आपको पता रॉकेट which you launch then you cannot control the direction next is called ballistic missiles which are partially controlled ballistic missiles start from the atmosphere start within the atmosphere goes out of the atmosphere and travel majority of generally out of the atmosphere then enter in the atmosphere so we control ballistic missile for a very brief period outer space mein they are largely not controlled so they are called ballistic another is known as cruise missiles cruise missiles are controlled from the time you fire them to the time it hit the target like a drone the drone ko you regulate from a remote some way cruise missiles are regulated brahmos is a cruise missile and so does we have another missile nirbhaya nirbhaya is another cruise missile of india it's a nuclear capable missile so imagine if a nuclear warhead would have been dropped in pakistan by accident it can happen human error it can happen ho sakta hai pk baithe ho maza kar raha ho chalo let's play the game theek <laughs> hai So anything can happen. Who knows? So anyway, so accidentally, the biggest concern with nuclear weapon is accidental. When you have too many weapons, देखिए आपके पास एक है, दो है, you can manage. But when you have too many weapons, accidents become a common place thing. America के साथ खुद कई बार हुआ है. American were transporting nuclear weapon and they dropped those weapon in their own country. Thank God they were not activated. They were trans. 
कई बार गिर चुके हैं लिटरली गिरे हैं एक बार फ्लोरिडा पे गिर गया था देर वॉज अपन देर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग एंड सम हाउ इट हैपन एंड इट ड्रॉप्ड बहुत अच्छा इट वॉज नॉट एक्टिवेटेड नहीं तो फ्लोरिडा गायब होता मैप से ठीक है These kind of accident can happen. चलो वो तो अमेरिका की खुद के देश में हुआ बट इमेजिन इफ अमेरिकन प्लेन वॉज ट्रेवलिंग टू सम अदर कंट्री एंड एन एक्टिवेटेड वेपन ड्रॉप क्या कर लोगे फिर सो टू प्रिवेंट दैट देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम एंड द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम केम इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू क्यूबन मिसल का दिस वॉज अ पॉइंट वेन द वर्ल्ड फीयर न्यूक्लियर अनाइलेशन वट वॉज अ क्यूबन मिसल क्राइसिस अमेरिका हैड पुट इट्स न्यूक्लियर वेपन इन टर्की नियर यूएसए बिकॉज उस समय में वी डिड नॉट हैव बिलिस्टिक मिसल्स बिलिस्टिक मिसल कैन ट्रेवल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू एंटायर अर्थ राइट नाउ अमेरिका कैन टारगेट एंटायर अर्थ फ्रॉम इट्स ओन लैंड सेम हम भी टारगेट कर सकते हैं अराउंड एट थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स उससे दूर अभी हमारे पास नहीं है रशिया चाइना दे कैन टारगेट एनी कंट्री ऑन द अर्थ बाय देर बिलिस्टिक मिसल्स उस समय बिलिस्टिक मिसल टेक्नोलॉजी थी नहीं so if you have to drop a weapon, nuclear weapon, either you have to take a war plane above the country or You have to deploy that weapon near a country. So America deployed its nuclear warhead in Turkey, and in response, Russia deployed its nuclear weapon in Cuba, the America's backyard. And the tensions were so high in 1962 that there was a fear among the world. If any miscalculation happens, then nuclear war is the final outcome. The world got scared, basically. Simple language, I'm saying. In that scenario. Hangor at that point of time cold mind prevailed. Agar war mongers hote like India's media right now, so ho chuki hoti war. Because they are like na, ham Pakistan ko mita denge, mita denge, mita denge. So there was two people, U.S. President John F. Kennedy and the Russian Secretary General Nikita Khrushchev. Both were cool minded people. Both were cold blooded people. They were not hot blooded war mongers. Because they were cold blooded, and finally sanity prevailed. Two things we understood. Pella. that there is a, they need bilateral mechanism to prevent two things hame samajh mein aayi in logo ko first thing that we need something to prevent this tension between the two superpower which can annihilate this entire earth second thing we understood that we need to curb the spread we need to curb the spread बात समझ में आया सबको सो अमेरिका डेवलप न्यूक्लियर वेपन रशिया डेवलप न्यूक्लियर वेपन इन अकाउंटर देर वॉज अ फियर ऑफ एक्सीडेंटल यूज नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू में इट बिकेम वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सीवियर एंड देर वॉज अ डेंजर ऑफ यूजिंग प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ यूएसए दे केम टू टू कंक्लूजन फर्स्ट वी नीड बायोलेट्रल मैकेजम टू डिक्रीज अवर टेंशन सेकेंड वी नीड टू we need to prevent this spread of nuclear weapon because by 1960 even china became nuclear power so the concern was more and more countries were becoming nuclear power at a very rapid pace something we should not have in this world dekhiye samjhiye the large number of countries chaliye maan lete america pe hai us pe hai india pe hai samajh mein aata hai take an example of a country called pakistan पाकिस्तान में द मिलिट्री ऑफ पाकिस्तान कंट्रोल इस न्यूक्लियर आर्सनल एंड अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ पॉलिटिशियन एंड अ मिलिट्री मैन फॉर अ मिलिट्री मैन इफ यू एंटर इन माई टेरिटरी देन आई विल डू एवरीथिंग टू थ्रो यू आउट पॉलिटिशियंस ऐसे नहीं होते हैं पॉलिटिशियंस हैव अ लार्ज बैंडविर्थ ऑफ स्टूपिडिटी दे कैन टॉलरेट स्टूपिडिटी टू लार्ज एक्सटेंट अगर आप उनके टेरिटरी में भी आएंगे तो भी दे आर नॉट लाइक चलो भाई वॉर करते हैं दे आर लाइक लेट्स नेगोशिएट इट फर्स्ट यहां तक सबको समझ में आया सो दे वॉज अ थ्रेड टू थिंग्स वी हैड टू डू एंड कंट्रीज लाइक पाकिस्तान में और भी डेंजर है दे हैव न्यूक्लियर वेपन इमेजिन इमेजिन इफ पाकिस्तान फेल्स एंड द तालिबान और वट एवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे हैव टेक ओवर द आर्म गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान टेररिस्ट विल है न्यूक्लियर वेपन इसी कार्ड का इस्तेमाल करता है पाकिस्तान हर बार वेन द वर्ल्ड से इज ना कि वी विल नॉट हेल्प यू इसने कहा ठीक है मैं फेल हो जाता हूँ Whenever the world says we will not help you out, so we are like, "Okay, no matter what, I don't care. I fail. I will fail. Then see. And the world is like, "No, don't be bad. Don't be bad. We will help you out." Pakistan plays this nuclear blackmail. It says, "If you do not help me, then I will fail as a country, and the terrorist element may take over the government." Then we deal with them. And the world is like, "Okay, fine. We will help you." This blackmail Pakistan plays every time. 
एवरी टाइम इट प्लेस एंड सेम ब्लैक मेल इट प्लेड विद इंडिया वो अभी थोड़ी देर में समझेंगे कैसे खेला उसने बट अंदर से यहाँ तक बातें समझ में आई तो देर टू थिंग्स वी अंडरस्टूड पहला वी नीड समथिंग टू प्रिवेंट दिस एस्केलेशन ऑफ वेपन सेकेंड वी नीड समथिंग टू प्रिवेंट द स्प्रेड ऑफ वेपन टू थिंग्स वी नीड अब इसके लिए क्या क्या किया गया दैट वी हैव टू सी तो दिस इज योर ग्लोबल न्यूक्लियर डिसमेंट रिजीम इट्स कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव बियॉन्ड दिस यू रिक्वायर नथिंग लेट सी सो यू हैव बायोलेट्रल ट्रीटीज बिटवीन द यूएसएसआर एंड यूएसए लाइक न्यू स्टार ट्रीटी दिस इज द ओनली ट्रीटी इन प्लेस राइट नाउ बाकी सारी ट्रीटी एक्सपायर हो चुकी है वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट उसके अलावा यू हैव कमर्शियल ट्रीटीज लाइक एनएसजी न्यूक्लियर सप्लायर ग्रुप इसको अभी हम समझेंगे वाई इट वॉज क्रिएटेड सेकेंड एम टी सी आर मिसल टेक्नोलॉजी कट ऑफ रिजीम कंट्रोल रिजीम जैनेगर ग्रुप वासेना ग्रुप ऑस्ट्रेलिया ग्रुप दीज आर फाइव दीज आर फाइव मैकेनिज्म टू कंट्रोल द स्प्रेड ऑफ न्यूक्लियर वेपन इन द वर्ल्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव मल्टीलेटरल टीटीज दीज आर द फोर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मल्टीलेटरल टीटीज एनपीटी सी टी बी टी पी टी बी टी एंड एफ एम सी टी ऑल दी सी टी विल डू इन अट एंड लास्टली you have some regional initiative like asean asean have declared officially that they will never acquire nuclear weapon second is remember this plindaba treaty plindaba treaty is in africa african union has had this treaty to declare that african countries will never acquire nuclear weapon so this is your anti nuclear regime all these treaty clear this much let's see every treaty one by one First, let's start with NPT. Non-proliferation treaty was signed in 1968. What this treaty means? Let me explain simple language. I'm going to explain. This treaty basically aims to prevent the spread of the weapon, not the escalation of the weapons. That is what we call vertical and horizontal. There are two spread. vertical and horizontal spread vertical means the countries that have nuclear weapon keep on making more and more nuclear weapon that is called vertical horizontal means more number of countries acquire nuclear weapon so remember npt address only horizontal spread it does not address vertical spread what this city says this city says all the countries that have acquired nuclear weapon before 1970 when this TT came in force, it was signed in 1968, 1970 में it came in force. So whichever country has signed this TT before, no sorry, whichever country has developed nuclear weapon before 1970 shall be recognized as legitimate nuclear weapon state. Everyone else shall not develop nuclear weapons, and in return they will get nuclear energy support. Like material technology, even on discounted rates, basically. समझ में आया? So it basically aims to do only one thing: prevents horizontal spread. It does not address vertical spread because the countries which have developed nuclear weapon before 1970 are legitimate nuclear weapon states. अब ये करा क्यों गया था? कुछ सोचिए क्यों करा गया था? Because during Cold War, during Cold War. अमेरिका प्रपोज अ प्लान जो आप करेंगे भी वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री में नोन एज बरूच प्लान अमेरिका प्रपोज दिस प्लान ड्यूरिंग कोल्ड वॉर बरूच प्लान बरूच प्लान वॉज सेइंग दैट रशिया विल गिव अप न्यूक्लियर वेपन एंड आई विल गिव अप न्यूक्लियर वेपन बट क्वेश्चन वॉज सॉरी बट द प्रोसेस वॉज फर्स्ट रशिया विल गिव अप न्यूक्लियर वेपन देन यूएन विल वेरीफाई दिस Then America will give up nuclear weapon, and Russia was like, "I have something written in my mouth." First, you do nuclear weapon, why do I do nuclear weapon? And both were fighting this. America was saying, "You give up first." USA was saying, "You give up first." And ultimately, nobody gave up first. Now, what happened? Russia was saying, "You give up first." And ultimately, nobody gave up first. 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 And so they agreed let's first stop the spread of nuclear weapon pehle hum ye koshish karenge ki more country should not acquire nuclear weapon fir hum apna dekh lenge baat samajh mein aaya that's why npt address only horizontal not vertical 
the vertical shall be addressed by the TTs that came later to this. ठीक है चलिए बाकी आप देख लेना इसमें चीजें लिखी हुई जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट वॉज द फर्स्ट लीगली एनफोर्सेबल ट्रीटी इट कंपेयर नेशन टू गिव अप एनी एग्जिस्टिंग और फ्यूचर एम्बिशन टू डेवलप न्यूक्लियर वेपन इन एक्सचेंज दे विल गेट एक्सेस टू पीसफुल यूज ऑफ न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी and the state parties which have produced nuclear weapon acha date is 1967 will be known as nuclear weapon state parties there are only four countries in the world who have not signed this agreement jisme se ek ye country iska naam hai north korea isne sign kiya tha what it did is it signed npt then it made use of npt assistance dekhiye samjhe nuclear technology is a dual use technology you can use it to make weapon as well as energy same humne bhi kiya tha we took a, we had an agreement with canada we established a joint plant known as cyrus cyrus we established we diverted material and technology from cyrus for our nuclear uh, explosions same north korea ne kiya but difference here ki we never signed npt north korea signed npt then it used the assistance of technology and when it developed sufficient capacity it came out of npt ठीक है इट वॉज अ वॉल्यूशन इट कैरिड आउट बाकी इंडिया ने कभी साइन नहीं किया है पाकिस्तान ने कभी पाकिस्तान कहता है जब इंडिया साइन करेगा तो मैं कर दूंगा और हमने बोलते हैं छोड़ो यार ठीक है पाकिस्तान की कंडीशन है आई विल साइन एनपीटी एज सुन एज इंडिया विल साइन इंडिया इज लाइक वी विल नेवर साइन दिस एनपीटी तो पाकिस्तान इज लाइक आई विल ऑल्सो नेवर साइन दिस एनपीटी अब बचा कौन ये कंट्री ये बड़ा स्मार्ट कंट्री है इसराइल इट हैज इट हैज नॉट साइन द टीटी it has never declared it has possessed nuclear weapon the world believes it has theek hai isse fayda kya hota hai this is called blackmail aapne bola bhi nahi aur aapne mana bhi nahi isse fayda kya hai if you say that i possess nuclear weapon then you are in violation of npt and the world will pressurize you if you do not accept then there will be a there will be what you call confusion people will fear you may have it and people will fear if they dare just the arabian arabic countries if they dare to invade israel they fear that israel may have nuclear weapons if something israel says i don't know there is a good policy israel adopted neither acknowledges that it have nuclear weapon nor it denies it has nuclear weapon it is like i don't know theek hai clear hai so these are the status ab npt me ko jata hai ki aata nahi sign kiya नहीं बोल सकता आप समझिए फर्क पड़ता है अगर वो बोलेगा दे विल बी टू मच प्रेशर जैसे हमारे से इस केस में हुआ था प्रॉब्लम क्या है समथिंग कॉल एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स क्या हो गया ओवर टाइम न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स हैव डेवलप्ड अ रेपुटेशन ऑफ बैड टेक्नोलॉजी गांधी यूज टू कॉल इट डायबोलिकल यूज ऑफ साइंस तो बिकॉज इफ यू एक्नोलेज यू हैव न्यूक्लियर वेपन देन प्रॉब्लम क्या होगा ईरान बोलेगा इसे क्यों माफ किया Iran is developing nuclear weapon, and you know America and Iran had a long fight over this, and they had a P5 plus one arrangement. If Israel acknowledges I have nuclear weapon, then Iran will be like, "I will also make it." But Saudi Arabia will say, "I will also make it." Problem is, as long as Israel does not acknowledge, the other countries do not have a justification. The second it acknowledges, the Iran will be like, "Yeah, so Israel will also stop. Then we will talk with them." And we, America, does not want to give this assurance. First thing. Second thing. whether israel have it or not doesn't matter because israel is under comprehensive security umbrella of us israel ko वैसे भी us kuch hone nahi dega it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happens clear chaliye ab dekhte hain ab question hi aata why india has not signed this india is very clear that this treaty is a nuclear apartheid India says this treaty is a nuclear apartheid, and India says even if there is a single nuclear weapon in the world, the world is not a safe place. So it is not a treaty. It's saying that some country cannot develop, other country can develop. It creates an apartheid. It believes that these countries are more superior to the other countries. Either no one will have, or everyone will have. हालांकि India everyone नहीं कहता. India कहता है that no one should have nuclear weapons. there was a huge pressure on india to sign npt until 1998 we will discuss that in a bit clear hua yahan tak to india has not signed this because india claims it is a nuclear apartheid baki pakistan has not signed it because pakistan says when india will sign it i will sign it 
नॉर्थ कोरिया की तो बात ही अलग है इट साइन एंड केम आउट इसराइल का किसी को नहीं पता क्लियर अब आते हैं नेक्स्ट चीज पे इसमें इसका नाम आप याद रखेंगे एक बार पहले से क्वेश्चन भी आया था अमंग विच ऑफ दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंडिया साइन एडिशनल सेफ उसका आंसर था आई ए इंटरनेशनल एटॉमिक एनर्जी एजेंसी विद दिस यू साइन सेफ गार्ड्स विच गिव पावर टू आई ए टू विजिट योर न्यूक्लियर फैसिलिटीज ओनली सिविलियन न्यूक्लियर फैसिलिटीज वी हैव साइन दिस अंडर दिस सेफ गार्ड आई कैन विजिट ऑल ऑफ इंडिया न्यूक्लियर साइट्स civilian nuclear sites not the military one means it cannot visit india's nuclear weapon but it can visit any of india's nuclear power plants clear that please remember this term additional safeguards ab agle tt dekhte salt once npt achieves the target of horizontal proliferation now comes to vertical proliferation the remaining tt they aim to address the vertical proliferation dimension the first one was strategic arms limitation talks there were two talks one in 1969 and other in 1970 and between usa and ussr it basically says that both both sides will not build new icbms intercontinental ballistic missiles that was an agreement but this tt has all this talks have already expired no longer in force agla nsg nuclear supplier group was created in 1974 i think jo bhi hai why it was created thoda sa we have to move to india's dimension india from the very beginning was clear that we will not develop nuclear weapon but we will use nuclear energy we were very clear from day one things change things change in 1971 1971 mein bangladesh war was going on in this there were two parties two factions one faction was india with aapka ussr versus usa with pakistan and china these were the three countries on one side we were on the other side america sent a nuclear powered ship uss enterprise in the bay of bengal to pressurize india to not enter into bangladesh it was a violation of the न्यूक्लियर एथिक्स न्यूक्लियर एथिक्स को टीटी नहीं कहती है बट न्यूक्लियर एथिक्स डिकेट करता है दैट अ न्यूक्लियर पावर कंट्री विल नॉट यूज न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स और न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी अगेंस्ट अ नॉन न्यूक्लियर कंट्री व्हेन दे वायोलेटेड दिस एथिक्स इंदिरा गांधी गॉट कन्विंस्ड दैट वी हैव टू बिकम अ न्यूक्लियर पावर वी कैन नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द मर्सी ऑफ यूएसएसआर और यूएसए टू सेव अस ठीक है इस बार हमें यूएसए ने यूएसएसआर हेल्प दस क्या पता फ्यूचर में यूएसएसआर विल हेल्प अस और नॉट we have to become independent and that's why we carried out first nuclear explosion in 1974 but america got very angry why america got angry because of this baat hai america was of with pakistan wo america jo aaj hamare sath hai to remember international affairs mein there is no permanent friend there are no permanent enemies the only permanent thing is interest अमेरिका 1974 में वॉज विद पाकिस्तान एंड वी वर अगेंस्ट बेसिकली वी क्लेम दैट वी आर नॉन अलाइंग बट वी वर विद यूएसआर मोर लेस तो अमेरिका ऑफकोर्स गॉट एंग्री एंड अमेरिका स्टैब्लिश इंस्टीट्यूशन नोन एज न्यूक्लियर सप्लायर ग्रुप वट इज दस ग्रुप इट इज अल्टी मल्टी नेशनल बॉडी पाकिस्तान सॉरी चाइना इज ऑल्सो हेयर इट इज अ मल्टी नेशनल बॉडी दैट एम्स टू रिड्यूस nuclear proliferation by controlling the export and retransfer of material basically america cut off india from the world nuclear commerce it cut it off india from the world nuclear commerce theek hai agla dekhte hain mtcr missile technology cut off regime so we have seen npt we have seen salt strategic arms limitation talks we have seen nsg next is mtcr missile technology control regime it was established in 1987 by g7 aapko pata hoga the world advanced countries are known as g7 to limit the proliferation of technology that could be used for chemical biological and nuclear attacks so what mcr does mt mt mtcr puts a restriction on the technology that can be used for chemical biological and nuclear weapons attack 
इट्स अ वॉलेंट्री पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन अराउंड थर्टी फोर न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी कंट्री नॉट पावर्ड कंट्री एनर्जी कंट्री इंडिया रिसेंटली बिकेम द मेंबर इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इंडिया हैज बिकम द मेंबर ऑफ एम टी सी आर एक्सेप्ट एन एस जी वी आर अ मेंबर ऑफ एवरी अदर बॉडी ठीक है तो इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन वी बिकेम अगला वासेनर वासेनर आपको बस टर्म याद रखना है एमटीसीआर इज टू प्रिवेंट टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर केमिकल बायोलॉजिकल एंड न्यूक्लियर वेपन वासेनर ग्रुप इज इज अ कंट्रोल रिजीम फॉर ट्रांसफर ऑफ कन्वेंशनल आर्म्स एंड ड्यूल यूज गुड्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी तो एमटीसीआर इज फॉर कटिंग ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू बायोलॉजिकल केमिकल एंड न्यूक्लियर वेपन वासेनर ग्रुप एम्स टू कंट्रोल द टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू Dual use goods, मतलब same. You can use that for peaceful purpose as well as for war purposes. All the participating state are reports among themselves their arms transfer and transfer even denial can happen. Means if you are a member of Vasena group, you can transfer technology to each other. If you want to transfer technology to someone outside of the Vasena group, then you require the permission of the Vasena group, and it can be. Denied. India has recently became the member. India recently became the member of Vasena Group also. Next is Australia Group. Australia Group deals with chemical and biological. So, yaad rakhega kaun sa group kis se deal karta hai? Not excessive detail. Just remember what is the name of the group and which thing it deals with. ठीक है India recently became its member. So, except for NSG. India is a member of every other group, MTCR, Vasenar, and Australia group. ठीक है। अब आते हैं CTBT पे। NBT we have seen. Next important it is CTBT. As the name implies, it's a comprehensive test ban treaty. It bans tests in all format basically. It's a multilateral treaty that aims to banning all nuclear explosion, whether for military or peaceful purposes. And what it address? It address Vertical proliferation. So NPT address horizontal proliferation. Remaining TT, particularly CTBT, PTBT, FMCT, they aim to address vertical proliferation. It says that the country shall not carry out nuclear testing in any format. That's why the word here is comprehensive. Clear? Hai? Please remember this. जैसे मैं लिखा है इट प्रोहिबिट्स ऑल ऑफ इट सिग्नेटरी फ्रॉम कंडक्टिंग न्यूक्लियर एक्सप्लोजन एज इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम इसके अलावा एक और डिटेल विच इज नेम एज पी टी बी टी रिमेम्बर पार्शियल द वर्ड हेयर इज पार्शियल कन्वेंशनल वेपन रिश्यू कन्वेंशनल वेपन का मतलब फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर आर्म्स एंड एम्यूनेशन एक्सेप्ट न्यूक्लियर केमिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल जो आपकी गन्स हो गई आपके टैंक्स हो गए नॉर्मल टैंक्स हा पीटीबीटी पार्शियल टेस्ट बैंड टीटी इट इज द ओनली टीटी इंडिया हैज साइन अमंग ऑल द टीटी इज ओनली टीटी इंडिया साइन इज पीटीबीटी पीटीबीटी बैंड टेस्टिंग इन एनी फॉर्मेट एक्सेप्ट अंडरग्राउंड सो याद रखिए पीटीबीटी बैंड टेस्टिंग इन एवरी फॉर्मेट एक्सेप्ट अंडरग्राउंड सीटीबीटी बैंड All testing formats. Why we have signed PTBT? Because it allows you to become nuclear power by underground testing. So notice, कि ये दोनों बार हमारी testing कैसी थी? Underground. Both time we carried out underground testing. America carried out a surface testing. America की surface testing थी, so does Russia की testing थी. India की testing जो थी, वो थी underground. Because we are a signatory to PTBT. Clear है तो NPT, CTBT, PTBT. The last one is अच्छा नीचे होगी वो अगला देख लेते हैं द नेक्स्ट इवोल्यूशन वॉज स्टार्ट स्ट्रेटेजिक आर्म्स रिडक्शन टी टी दे वर टू टी टी साइन वन एंड टू इन इट वॉज बिटवीन ऑफकोर्स यूएसए एन यूएसएसआर तो जितनी आपकी है सोल्ट वन सोल्ट टू स्टार्ट वन स्टार्ट टू न्यू स्टार्ट दीज ऑल आर बायोलेट्रल टीटी बिटवीन यूएस एंड यूएसएसआर और टूडे इज रशिया It aim to reduce the number of long range nuclear weapons. So salt क्या करता था? Salt reduces ICBMs. 
स्ट्रेटेजिक आर्म्स लिमिटेशन टॉक्स दे रिड्यूस आईसीबीएम साइलोस इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल बिलिस्टिक मिसिल्स साइलोस स्टार्ट एम टू रिड्यूस लॉन्ग रेंज न्यूक्लियर वेपन सो एक एक लाइन है बस याद रखिएगा क्या कौन सी टीटी क्या रिड्यूस करना चाह रही है उसके बाद लास्ट हमारे पास है न्यू स्ट्रेटेजी इट इज द लेटेस्ट वन एंड इट इज द ओनली टीटी इन फोर्स द ओनली बायोलेट्रल अरेंजमेंट बिटवीन यूएसएसआर और करंट रशिया एंड अमेरिका इज न्यू स्टार्ट बाकी सारी बायोलेट्रल अरेंजमेंट हैज एक्सपायर व्हेन दिस विल एक्सपायर देन दे विल बी अगेन अ न्यूक्लियर रेस इसलिए वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस बिकॉज रिसेंटली देयर इज अ न्यूज दैट रशिया इज सेइंग इट विल नॉट रिन्यू दिस टीटी ये कब एक्सपायर होने वाली है 2026 में The new start date is about to expire in 2026, and Russia is signaling that Russia will not renew this treaty. And if that happens, then be prepared for our next arms race, particularly nuclear arms race. And this will also be very dangerous. Clear? Let's see. This is not much. It is the. I have told you. It is the last remaining arm reduction pact. It is the last remaining. The rest of the pact has expired. It caps the number of nuclear warheads to 1550. Under this new start, both America and USSR agreed that they will reduce their warhead to this level and will maintain the same. Once this expires, then there will be no limit because at the end of by 1991, ending eight days of Cold War, I think there are thousands of weapons. They were producing nuclear weapon like anything, and there were thousands of nuclear weapon with both countries. इतने जरूरत भी नहीं है, ठीक है सौ weapon ही काफी है, ठीक है they are just for deterrence, है? इसको उड़ाने के लिए हाँ अर्थ को उड़ाने के लिए अर्थ को फ्राई करने के लिए इक्का बनाने के लिए अर्थ का सिर्फ सौ वेपन ही बहुत है इतने वेपन की हमें जरूरत नहीं है चलिए लास्ट टीटी और देख लेते हैं एफएमसीटी स्पेशल मटेरियल कट ऑफ टीटी सो मल्टीलेटर टीटी में आपका है एनपीटी सीटीबीटी पीटीबीटी एंड एफ एम सी टी बट एफ एम सी इट एम्स टू बैन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिसल मेटेरियल It aims to ban any production. CTBT and PTBT aims to ban testing. NPT aims to ban horizontal proliferation. FMCT aims to ban vertical proliferation by making sure no country develop fissile material, including the countries which have nuclear weapon. Remember, CTBT, PTBT, and FMCT. All these three TT applies on everyone. Including nuclear powers. NPT does not apply on nuclear power. Clear? है? अब इसमें problem क्या है? Problem ये है, it has been on hold. ये negotiation में है, enforce नहीं हुई है. It is on hold by Pakistan. Pakistan is having a dispute with America and India. America and India wants that existing fissile material shall not be covered. हम क्या कह रहे हैं? कि जो material हमारे पास already है That shall not be covered under FMCT. It shall cover new material. Pakistan says that already India has more fissile material than me. So Pakistan says it shall cover every fissile material, whether new or old. This point pe TT atki hui hai because this TT has to be accepted by consensus of all UN members, all 193 country. And Pakistan ki wajah se ye hold pe hai. क्लियर है सो दीज आर दीटीज दैट वी हैव ये सारा ओल्ड डेटा हो गया अब रिसेंट में एक टीटी आई है 2017 में विच इज आई वुड से द बेस्ट ऑफ द टीटीज बेस्टेस्ट ऑफ द टीटीज इज 17 टीटी लेट्स सी कन्वेंशन ऑन प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियर वेपन 2017 इट इज द मोस्ट लेटेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव वन वट इट डज It's a global treaty. It uh, negotiated at the level of United Nations. It's a global treaty. It bans nuclear weapon in all formats. It's completely comprehensive. Unlike NPT, which only targets the non-nuclear countries, this treaty targets everyone. This treaty says that all nuclear weapon in any format is banned. Plus, it bans every activity. From testing, from development, जो भी activity nuclear weapons related है, any activity that is related to nuclear weapon is banned under CPNW. अब guess करिए, who who has not signed this treaty? 
all nuclear country have not signed this treaty, including India. Uh, why we have not signed this? Look, what did we say about NPT? That's why I always say, remember, politics is filled with hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is the norm in politics. You say something, you do something. A diplomacy is the hypocritic, hypo, is the most hypocritic. Sandal ki awas. Look, democracy, uh, diplomacy is the most hypocritic profession. Pe what you say, you never mean that. What you don't say, you always mean that. So here, this treaty has been agreed upon. And they can none of the nine countries that have declared they possess nuclear weapon have signed this. U.S. Israel ki to baat hi mat karo. Wo bhi nahi hai niche. Israel has signed karao hai. Has nahi karao na. Wo hi mera. Israel bhi nahi hai. Tension mat lo uski. U.S. Russia, Britain, China, France, India, Pakistan, North Korea, and Israel. These are the countries which took. Part in the negotiation or the vote, but did not accept the treaty. There are a lot of countries. Now, the most important thing is that Japan is not in this treaty. Japan has denied signing this treaty. It is the only country in the world that has suffered nuclear weapons. Only country. Come, come. Isi to sign karna chahiye. ठीक है. So that's what it happens, and almost none of the NATO countries have signed this. More or less, no NATO country has signed it. Individually, they have signed. NATO, as such as a bloc, has not signed this. And as I told you, it prohibits everything. It prohibits all nuclear weapon in any format. It prohibits all nuclear testing in any format. Development, everything is banned. Plus, it bans every nuclear sharing arrangement. Every nuclear sharing. Sorry. It bans everyone. Anyone who signs this. Whether you have the weapons or not doesn't matter. It bans everything. It's the most comprehensive treaty ever made. That's why no country which has nuclear weapon has signed this. Now, argument kya hai? Why they are not signing this? Its criticism dekhi aisa hai. The Rod Leon of ASPI pata nahi kya hai. Okay, he has said that it will not bring any change in the world because no nuclear country has signed this. The criticism of the TT is that no nuclear country has signed this. So, its not going to happen or not more or less is equal. But nonetheless, it will settle the nuclear ethics. Ethics, remember, plays a very strong role. Sometimes you think that hard power is stronger. No, ethics and morality are more stronger than hard power. Soft power is what we call this. It's more powerful. Just example ke taur pe, you may be physically more powerful than your mother. Okay, but she can beat you any time. You may become the prime minister with SPG security. Even then, she can come and slap you, and that SPG security cannot protect you. That's the power. Why? What power she holds? Soft power. You may hold a hard power. She holds soft power, and soft power is based on ethics and morality. That's the power Gandhi used. When, if you remember that incident, Gandhi was in the court. He denied giving. He was like, whatever punishment you will give, I will oblige. But I have not done anything. I will not say sorry. Then the judge said, "Okay, fine. Pay the fine and nikalo yahan se." He was like, "Main fine bhi pay nahi karunga." Judge ne bola, "Maaf karo, nikalo yahan se." Why it happened? Because Gandhi knew I am right and I am ethically strong. He was like, "Tumhe jo karna hai karlo, I will not back off." And the ethics was so strong on the part of the Gandhi that the, even the British judge has to go down and like, "Nikal ja, bhai, please." ठीक है. That is, you need to understand. अब आप post क्यों कर रहे हैं? Let's see. All nuclear power countries argue that their arsenal serves. Deterrence and said that they remain committed to. बोलना होता है ऐसी बातें. So the, what is their argument of not signing this? That they believe nuclear weapon act like deterrence and they are committed to non-proliferation treaty. They said a blanket ban on nuclear weapon does not address the security concerns which continue to make nuclear deterrence necessary. मतलब बड़ी बड़ी बात है सिंपल सी बात ये दे आर नॉट गोना गिव अप न्यूक्लियर वेपन दे लाइक इट ठीक है बाकी वट एवर देसे ये आर्गुमेंट आप याद रखिएगा इट विल कम हैंडी व्हेन यू विल राइट दैट अब इंडिया का क्या स्टैंड है इंडिया की बात कर लेते हैं इंडिया सेज इट इज नॉट अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑन न्यूक्लियर डिसआर्मामेंट बिकॉज़ इट डस नॉट इंक्लूड वेरिफिकेशन प्रोसेस रादर इंडिया सेज वी बिलीव इन जिनीवा वेस्ट कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डिसआर्मामेंट Geneva may there is a conference of disarmament that is going on from eternity. 
एंड विल गो ऑन फॉर इटर्निटी ठीक है तो वी बिलीव इन दैट इटरनल प्रोसेस वी आर काइंड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल पीपल ना ठीक है चलिए लीव दैट असाइड बाकी आप देख लेना क्लियर है तो दीज आर ऑल द रिजीम पॉसिबल ऑफ न्यूक्लियर अरेजमेंट इन द वर्ल्ड क्वेश्चन दैट लास्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स इज वाई Why Russia is dismantling this structure? आपको लग रहा होगा दैट रशिया इज डिसमेंटलिंग बिकॉज रशिया ऑफ यूक्रेन वॉर नहीं भैया आप राजनीति नहीं समझते थे रशिया इज डूइंग दिस बिकॉज अमेरिका वॉन्ट्स इज टू वाई अमेरिका वॉन्ट्स इज टू बिकॉज देर इज अ कंट्री नोन एज चीना ठीक है नोन एज चीना दिस चीना कंट्री इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ एनी बायोलेट्रल मेकेनिज्म बोथ रशिया and usa has a tacit understanding tacit matlab samajhte hain when you no, do not speak the word but you communicate your desire to your friend dono ke beech mein tacit understanding hai that you will behave irrationally i will behave irrationally and we will dismantle all treaties there is a tacit agreement of both countries reason because the only threat they consider is china अमेरिका का वर्ल्ड व्यू याद रखेगा अमेरिका सीज रशिया एज अ डिक्लाइनिंग पावर कैपेबल ऑफ ग्रेट मिस्चीज व्हाट इज अमेरिका व्यू ऑफ रशिया अमेरिका रशिया इज अ डिक्लाइनिंग पावर कैपेबल ऑफ ग्रेट मिस्चीफ ओनली शरारत है बेसिकली अमेरिका सीज चाइना एज द प्राइम थ्रेट टू अमेरिकन सुप्रीमेसी एंड चाइना इज नॉट अंडर एनी बायोलेट्रल अरेन्जमेंट टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स तो बोथ रशिया एंड अमेरिका एवरी कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड दे ऑल अग्री टेसिटली मुंह से बोलते नहीं है बट दे ऑल वॉन्ट टू डिसमेंटल ऑल ट्रीटीज सो वेन एवर अ न्यू नेगोशिएशन टेक प्लेस तब वो बोलेंगे अरे चाइना भी है बात समझ में इट इज हैिंग बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग चाइना अंडर एनी न्यू अरेन्जमेंट टू प्रिवेंट वर्टिकल प्रोलिफ्रेशन क्लियर दिस मच ठीक है प्लीज रिमेम्बर दैट पॉइंट अब आते हैं इंडिया के बारे में लेट्स सी इंडिया रिवोल्यूशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियर डॉक्ट्राइन वी नो दैट इंडिया इम्बार्क ऑन ड्यूल इंटेंस स्ट्रेटेजी द फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर जे एल जवाहरलाल नेहरू एंड होमी जे बाबा द फादर ऑफ इंडिया न्यूक्लियर प्रोग्राम होमी जे बाबा एंड जवाहरलाल नेहरू द फर्स्ट थिंग वी स्टैब्लिश वॉज एटमिक एनर्जी कमीशन अंडर होमी जे बाबा After Indo-China War of 1962 and the development of nuclear weapon by China. So remember, though we developed nuclear weapon because America hurt us. America hurt us in 1971. But the real reason, the reason we have given for developing nuclear weapon was China. We said China is nuclear weapon. China is an enemy country, so we want nuclear weapon. Now China never responded to this thing. why china never responded you need to understand a difference here from 1974 to 1998 two nuclear testing in both case mein the response of america was different 1974 mein we when we carried out nuclear testing russia established nsg to cut india from the world nuclear commerce but when we carried out nuclear testing in 1998 America did not behave irrationally. America signed a treaty with India, known as Indo-US Civil Nuclear Agreement 2005, that allow India to carry out nuclear commerce. So why two different reactions? Because when 1991 May the USSR disintegrated, there was a scholar who wrote a book known as Tragedy of Great Powers. The scholar name was Mir Shaimer. In 1990s, when USSR got disintegrated, Mir Shaimer wrote a book. The book name was Tragedy of Great Powers. जो भी spelling है देख लेना. Tragedy of Great Powers. Now, what was his argument? His argument was that it is a tragedy of the Great Powers to fall for a war. It's the tragedy. What is the tragedy of great powers that they are destined for a war? How? Is me a quote that I will remember. Theosi Dadentrap. Theosi Dadentrap. Theosi Dadentrap. 
the strategy of the great powers is they are destined for a war. Why? Because they are in a Thucydides trap. Now, who is this Thucydides? Thucydides was a scholar. He wrote a, a book known as History of Peloponnesian War. It was a war between the Greek states, Athens, Sparta. They fought a long war. He wrote a book over that. In that book, he said, whenever there is an established power and whenever there is a rising power, they are destined for a war. Kaise? Let's say, let's say USA is an established power and say, for example, China is a rising power. As China will slowly rise, America will take counter actions to prevent China's rise. Then China will take counter to America's counter, 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 ultimately war. This is called Thucydides trap. Why it's a trap? Because both country knows what they are doing will lead to a war, but both country cannot stop. They have to take action, counter action, action, counter action. Let's take example, America launched a policy pivot to Asia policy, Barack Obama's time. Barack Obama's time, America launched the policy pivot to Asia. Why it launched this policy? Because of this person. This person wrote this book and told to the American president that if you think that the China's rise will be peaceful, then you are wrong. Right now, you are a superpower. China is nobody. You have the power to dismantle China right now. If you allow China to rise in the belief that China will be a peaceful country and when China will acquire sufficient capacity, it will show its true nature. It said to America, if you think that China will rise peacefully, then you are mistaken. China will behave peacefully till the time it attains sufficient power. Then it will show its true color. By that time, you will, it will be too late for you to counteract. Abhi, you are powerful. China is not. Deal with Chinese issue right now. Take actions. Believing that Barack Obama launched pivot to Asia policy. Under this, Barack Obama said that every country which is a neighbor of China, I will develop relation to that country to counter China. As a counter to Asia, pivot to Asia, China has launched BRI. Sabko samajh mein kaise technology kya hai? First, this person comes, Mil Shimer. He says something to the America that you have to deal with China right now. Otherwise, in future, it will be sufficiently powerful and you may not be able to deal with this. And so, believing that America launched pivot to Asia policy, also known as the rebalancing. Rebalancing to whom? Rebalancing China. As a counter to Asia pivot, China has launched PRI. So, you are action, reaction. Action, reaction. BRI ke counter mein America ne kya launch kya? Quad. Quad and yaha pe I2, U2. Western side mein I2, U2 and the eastern side mein quad arrangement. I2, U2 is also known as the uh, western quad. So all these arrangement India, and it has signed J alliance agar aapko pata ho. Japan, Australia, India alliance. It is promoting India. Ab aapko reason pata lag gaya ki why America did not behave in 1990. Buck passing. Buck passing. America knew, America launched Asia pivot policy, and America knew from the tragedy of great powers that if America does not address China right now, they got China to here. <laughs> if America does not address China right now, then there will be a war. And as I told you, buck passing mein kya hota hai? you know there is a rising threat, but you don't want to address that directly. You want to address that indirectly. And the Chinese angle mein who becomes the partner? India. Is liye 1998 mein when we became nuclear power, China, America did not react strongly. America was like a nuclear India is better than non-nuclear India against China. And why China did not react it? Because China wanted to convince to America that even a nuclear India is not a match to me. Sabko samajh aaya kya kya hua? Online people clear so far? Yes, sir. Theek hai? Isi liye aap notice kijiye, even when we have not signed this agreement called NPT, ek institution jo abhi man aapko bataya tha, kya banaya gaya tha? Energy. America got India waiver in energy. 1974, we carried out nuclear testing. America cut off India from the world nuclear commerce. 
this time we became nuclear power and america got us a waiver in nsg this says even though india is not a member of nsg but india is allowed to carry out world nuclear commerce without restrictions understand everything depends upon interest to say ek aur baat yaad rakhiyega if tomorrow india gets into a war with china america will come for our help depends upon whether america's interest are served or not it will not come to our help look at the ukraine's condition ukraine messed with russia on the belief that nato will help and when the war literally carried out american president khulle shabdon mein bol diya we will not go to ukraine so they left it high and dry they are supplying weapon no doubt they are supplying weapon and material but they are not putting boots on the ground same will happen with india if india engage into a war with china the chances that america will help us will depend whether china whether america's interests are involved or not which i believe will not be like india china ka ladenge dono mein se koi bhi mare jeetega america bahut samjhiye agar aaj china threat hai when if china will not be a threat the agla threat kon banega india banega after russia comes china when china will be dealt with the next threat to american supremacy will be india then anti indian narrative will run out and remember america controls world narrative because america controls information in the world whatever america says is the common sense aap sabko pata hoga because you all speak english a legacy of the british empire you all speak english and so you understand america's narrative better than your own narrative you think that your people your elderly is a backward why because you are under subjugation of western individual morality mera kaam karne ka adhikar mera ghumne ka adhikar mera peene ka adhikar why it comes into play understand the impact of western idea you watch series you watch movies you see documentaries majority of them are in english and they are biased in favor of american values that's why you think that your own traditional values are backward because you are impacted by american colonialism so ko samajh mein aaya ab sochiye when india will become a threat to america then the america will use that information power to delegitimize india abhi dekhiye india kuch bhi kar dega na duniya mein america will tolerate this जैसे वी रिमूव 370 अमेरिका ने कुछ नहीं बोला आई कैन गारंटी इफ वी वुड बी 1960 और 1971 के बाद मान लेते हैं 1972 में वी रिमूव 370 अमेरिका वुड हैव डिक्लेयर्ड इंडिया आप रूथलेस डिक्टेटरिश कंट्री वॉलेटिंग द राइट्स ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर पर अभी वो कुछ नहीं बोल रहा क्यों बिकॉज़ इट नीड्स इंडिया अगेंस्ट चाइना सो रिमेंबर एवरीथिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन इंटरेस्ट तो हम भी इतने बेवकूफ नहीं है we are very smart people so we are like america said to us aao bhai ukraine war mein aao we are like nahi tum dur se baat karo why is it so because we were very simple there is no point we should go to ukraine hum kyon jaye bhai ukraine war mein america was like we are the part of quad now you are a family member theek hai chalo yaar ukraine chalte hain and we are like no thank you hame koi interest nahi hai we are a member of quad because we are concerned with china ukraine se hamara koi lena dena nahi hai tumhe marna jao maro and on the contrary we imported large amount of crude oil from russia humne kaha aao russia ji aao aao aap aao so theek hai india is not that irrational from ukraine but understand aisa hamesha nahi hoga because america controls information and it, with information it can control who becomes your prime minister facebook apple amazon netflix google they control your mind they control information आजकल हम बोलते हैं व्हाट्सएप यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रेजुएट्स हु रन्स दिस व्हाट्सएप यूनिवर्सिटी अमेरिका द सेकंड दे वांट टू चेंज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर मान लेते हैं देयर इज अ कैंडिडेट इन इंडिया हु इज विलिंग टू फाइट अमेरिकास वॉर विद चाइना आई कैन गारंटी अमेरिका सारी जान लगा देगा उसे प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनाने में फेसबुक एप्पल अमेजन नेटफ्लिक्स गूगल एवरी मोबाइल फोन विल हैव अ वीडियो प्रमोटिंग दैट लीडर दैट इंडियन लीडर हु इज विलिंग टू फाइट फॉर अमेरिकास वॉर अगेंस्ट चाइना the way zelensky came to power and the zelensky power which le aaya tha because america knew is a favorable person for me that leader abhi aisa koi leader hai nahi in india mein itna bekoof koi paida nahi hua koi 
But if somebody comes out and he's willing to fight America's war with China, I can guarantee the next day that person will be the most popular leader in India because America controls media and media controls information and information controls our minds. आप लोग ही बात अलग आप पढ़े लिखे लोग ठीक है क्लियर है सबको अब जल्दी से इंडिया केस देख लेते हैं इंडिया इज लॉन्च इस डॉक्ट्राइन देख लेते हैं व्हाट इज इंडिया डॉक्ट्राइन so as part of the agreement india launched its doctrine and india's doctrine was adopted in 2003 what is the doctrine let's see that india will not initiate any nuclear attack on any country that is no first use policy hum pehla istemal nahi karenge theek hai iske counter mein pakistan ka kya hai first use policy why first use policy because pakistan is of the opinion that conventional war mein india is powerful This is called Pakistan's nuclear blackmail. Pakistan क्या करता था? Whenever there was a terrorist attack from Pakistan side, and we used to mobilize our forces, and Pakistan was like, मैंने बस बटन पर हाथ रखा हुआ है, तो मैं इंटर करो, मैं दबा दूँगा. This is called nuclear blackmail. Who called out this nuclear blackmail? Narendra Modi. Balakot strikes. बहुत important. That uh, that uh, strikes that uh, there was a terrorist attack. We carried out surgical strike, and then we carried out बालाकोट स्ट्राइक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्राइक है वो बिकॉज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सिंस एक्वायरिंग न्यूक्लियर वेपन इंडियन फोर्सेस क्रॉस एलओसी वी नेवर क्रॉस इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर याद रखिएगा हमने इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर क्रॉस नहीं करा वी क्रॉस एलओसी एंड वी फायर्ड अ मिसाइल इनसाइड पाकिस्तान टेरिटरी एंड इन रिटर्न पाकिस्तान कुड नॉट यूज न्यूक्लियर वेपन वी कॉल्ड आउट पाकिस्तान न्यूक्लियर ब्लैकमेल और उसके बाद फिर वो ये हरकत हो गई हमारी This is what Rajesh Raja Gopal has said that India has a problem. What is Indian leader fears escalation, and if you fears escalation, you can never deter Pakistan. If, for example, if I want to make you scared, then I have to convince you there is no limit of my reciprocation. If I want to convince you there is no limit of my reciprocation. If you want that car never to be there, then you must convince that person that you have no limits to reciprocate. You must not let him go. If you can do this, you can scare anyone. For example, if you are going to the street and a madman comes, पागल लोग कुछ घूमते हैं ना, you are sanity, but you do not mess with that person. Why? Because आपको पता है that person does not possess critical faculty. He can do anything. आप क्या respond करोगे इस व्यक्ति को? Even though you are very powerful, a macho man with Z class security, even then you will not mess with a madman, because you know there is no limit of that madman. Anyone can be scared if you are able to convince that person that you have no limits of reciprocation. बात समझ में आए तो that is what happens in India. India में क्या है? We fear escalation. And how? Balakot strike के बाद the government of India gave a press release. Press release में government of India wrote down that our targets were non-military terrorist targets. ये line ने सारा effort बर्बाद कर दिया हमारा. But we should have written, we have targeted military terrorist bases. Is the kya clarity aati that India will target anything in Pakistan, including Pakistani army, if they support terrorists. But हमने क्या वर्ड इस्तेमाल किया? Non-military terrorist targets. According to Rajesh Raja Gopalan, it shows even today Indian leaders fear escalation. And as long as we will fear escalation, we can never deter Pakistan. हमें पाकिस्तान को कन्विंस करना पड़ेगा. That if you dare to come inside India, then we will have no limits to reciprocate. तभी तो वो डरेगा नहीं तो he's like okay fine let's do this again. Clear है सबको? So no first use policy please remember and Pakistan has first use policy. China also has no first use policy. Remember that India would not use nuclear weapon against non-nuclear states. And the only purpose of India's nuclear arsenals is defense and deterrence. These are the part of India's nuclear doctrine, and India will develop second strike capability. हमने कर लिए, I think INS Aryan, जहाँ तो मुझे याद आ रहा है, the submarine we have created. Check कर लेना नाम मुझे ध्यान नहीं आ रहा exact. I think it is INS Aryan, a submarine we have made that is nuclear capable. Now India has second strike capability. Understand the land-based nuclear missiles and the air-based nuclear missiles can be captured. Sea based nuclear missile, particularly submarine based nuclear missile, cannot be captured because the submarine can go deep inside the water and it is not traceable. 
सो यू कैन प्रिवेंट दैट ट्रेसेबिलिटी तो मान लेते हैं पाकिस्तान अटैक दस इट कैन डिस्ट्रॉय इंडिया लैंड नॉट द सम सो वी हैव डेवलप आई एन एस अरियन एक बार नाम चेक कर लेना उसका नाम यही है ठीक है उसके अलावा इंडिया विल अडोप्ट न्यूक्लियर ट्राइड पूरा हो चुका है हमारा वी हैव न्यूक्लियर वेपन कैपेसिटी ऑन लैंड ऑन एयर ऑन वॉटर इवन अंडर वॉटर दैट इज आई एन एस अरियन क्लियर है अब इससे डिटेल में नहीं बता सकता था हो गया बस खत्म करो क्लियर दिस इज मोस्ट कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव न्यूक्लियर इशू में मोर लेस वी हैव टच एवरी डायमेंशन ठीक है एक आध पॉइंट रह गया होगा मुझे नहीं पता बट लार्जली वी हैव कवर्ड अब नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पर आते हैं लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट न्यूज वी हैव पीस डेज विद उल्फा एंड सीए ऑनलाइन पीपल एनी वन ऑफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन पूछ लीजिए फिर हम आगे मूव करें सब आई मीन इज देयर लाइक एनी न्यूज एनी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज अबाउट द न्यू ट्रीटीज दैट वुड बी मेड अबाउट द न्यूक्लियर स्टफ the last treaty treaty we had was 2017. Since then there is is of of treaties and the the reason reason I told you the reason is to bring China under a treaty. Right now, China under under a a right now not treaty. So, Russia and USA both have a tacit understanding. They are not saying this. आप मीडिया कवरेज देखोगे ना तो उसमें देखा जा रहा है रशिया इज अड कंट्री इट इज डिसमेंटलिंग न्यूक्लियर ट्रीटी दे विल बी न्यूक्लियर वॉर इंडियन न्यूज देखोगे तो और दिखाएंगे वो कल ही वेपन गिर रहा है मोदी जी खुद उठा के वेपन को लेके जाके फेंकते हैं ठीक है, सो नंदलेस टीटी अभी है नहीं अगर आएगी तो करंट अफेयर्स में कोई ना कोई तो होगी ठीक है ओके सर, चलिए फाइन है तो लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज द डील पीस डील विद उल्फा एंड सी ए रूल सी ए रूल पे वी डू नॉट है क्लियरिटी बट देर वॉज अ रिपोर्ट येस्टरडे और डे बिफोर येस्टरडे दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज मेड सी ए रूल एंड दे विल नोटिफाई बिफोर लोकसभा इलेक्शन थैंक्स टू पोलराइजेशन ठीक है देखते हैं कैसे काम करते हैं वो सो फर्स्ट देर टू न्यूज लेट मी डील विद ऑन दिसंबर ट्वेंटी प्रोटॉक एंड एंटी टॉक द एंटी टॉक फैक्शन इज लेड बाय परेश बरुआ ये रहा देर टू फैक्शन ऑफ उल्फा वन इज प्रोटॉक एंड अदर इज एंटी टॉक्स The pro-talk faction has signed a peace agreement with central government. The anti-talk faction, that is Paresh Barua faction, is boycotting this agreement. But nonetheless, it's a starting thing. Isme we will compare northeast with Jammu Kashmir. See two different lands, two different approach. Both are demanding something, same thing. And both case me government of India's response is different. Politics dictate a lot of things. Next. The report says that the rules in the Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 have been readied, and they will be notified before 2024 election. I say, I hope that I will. They will do this because these are highly polarizing thing. Or, what can happen? Because polarization helps BJP every time. Religious polarization. Remember, religious polarization helps BJP. Caste polarization helps Congress. If this caste polarization, Congress will be benefited. If there is religious polarization, then BJP will be benefited. This is why the Ram Mandir inauguration is happening now. It is not ready yet, but elections are there, so it must be ready. It will be ready, I think, two or three years later. But nonetheless, jitna bhi ready hua hai, usi mein inaugurate kar denge usse, because elections are near. Uske baad achar sahita lag jayegi, the moral code of conduct, and it will not be possible for the government to carry out this exercise. Or aapne dekha bhi hoga aajkal. सेल्फी पॉइंट्स बनाए जा रहे हैं सेल्फी विद प्राइम मिनिस्टर हाँ सेल्फी यूजीसी का भी ऑर्डर था एंड रेलवे में बनाए गए हैं मेट्रो स्टेशन में भी बनाया गया कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू न्यू इंडिया ठीक है सो दे वॉज आर टी आई रिप्लाई विद सेट लैख रुपीज सिक्सटी एट समथिंग लैख रुपीज पर स्टेशन है वेरी बिग अमाउंट इन अ कंट्री We are fifty percent population. Eighty crore people. Co, you are giving food. It's not a matter of honor. It's a matter of shame. कि पचास साल की आजादी के बाद भी अस्सी करोड़ लोगों को आपको खाना देना पड़ रहा है. Otherwise, they will die hungry. It's a matter of shame. It should be written in bold letter. A shame event. ठीक है. Anyway, so that's how the politics run. So selfie खिचाओ. सारे गम भूल जाओ. वोट देके आओ. चलो आगे लिख लो. Let's see the what is the importance of this agreement. The Ulfa, 
the proto faction which have signed this agreement they have agreed to abstain from violence surrender their weapon participate in democratic process and protect india's sovereignty and integrity what the government will do the government has promised it will invest around 1.5 lakh crore figure is not important just remember government will invest that's all you have to remember the assembly's assembly which has 126 seats now 97 will be will be re reserved for indigenous population out of the kitna 126 97 will be reserved for the indigenous of assam basically and the ministry of home affairs will take time bound plan to address ulfa's demand and a dedicated committee will be established to oversee the entire process so these are the commitment of government of india and those are the commitment of the ulfa up the big question comes is what is ulfa is why i have clubbed two news together because they are more or less related to assam so the united liberation front of assam it's a separatist militant organization founded in 1979 in assam it originates from anti immigrant all assam student movement asu because maine aapko bataya students bahut velle hote hain they have a lot of time to waste so i always tell you dictators fear nobody governments around the fear nobody except the students and intellectuals because intellectuals are like doctors of society they can see the events in society and can predict the direction of society students bahut hi idealistic hote hain aap log bhi honge then we will go and become ias and duniya badal denge jahan badal denge theek hai then you will know the second you do not obey the government order turant aisa transfer aayega aapko beja jayega yavat mal theek hai so it happens government may if you do not fall in line then you will be thrown out of the line that's how it works you will be uh, you will be promoted but you will never get true power you will be you will be like chief secretary kya karta hai chief secretary file saaf karta hai hamari theek hai there are some position in the government known as penalty positions when you do something government does not like they transfer you to a place jahan pe position achhi khasi hota aapka promotion hota hai by the way you are being promoted but the position demotion ki tarah hoti hai because you may be having a lower position but you were having functional powers you will be promoted and sent to a department where there is no work at all bas koi din makhiya maarni hai aapko see that happens if you do not fall in line theek hai please remember so that's why kaisi movement kisne kari hai students idealistic willing to change this world duniya ko ungliyon pe nachana hai ne theek hai i hope you may have seen that movie bahut pyari movie lagti hai rang de basanti if you have seen that movie there's a dialogue behind inside the gates of this college we rotate the world outside the gate of go oh, outside the gates of this college the world rotates us theek hai to remember that ulfa was first established to address the political and socio economic problem of the assamis people however over time the organization evolved to demand that assam should become a sovereign independent state a home rule there was a home rule in assam so they want to revert assam to a home rule a question is why kyun itna drama kar rahe ho yaar why this drama because understand tribals have a tribals have a different loyalty system unlike we people tribals have a very strong loyalty with their tribes very strong loyalty and remember northeastern states are majorly tribal in origin so for them anyone who is not from northeast is a foreigner even you people if you go to northeast you are a foreigner for the northeasters their understanding is very different what happened we had a bangladesh war 1970 a bangladesh war mein there was a large number of people who migrated from bangladesh to northeast particularly assam bengal and other states and as i told you tribals have a strong loyalty to their land their forest their area and they are seeing this bangladeshi there remember when i say bangladeshi aapke dimag mein kon aa raha hoga muslim hindu muslim hindu bhi aa rahe honge theek hai fir to acha hai tum bach gaye <laughs> the reason here is common sense but aisa nahi understand who runs from a place who thinks that they are at a danger of life Bangladesh is a Pakistan Muslim majority country who will run from Bangladesh Hindus majority of the people who have come from Bangladesh are actually Hindus abhi hum dekhenge aisa kaise hua kyun hua 
so the last number of people who came in 1970s these were the people who were fearful of pakistan army's genocide known as operation searchlight that genocide said they ran away and they burdened india's economy and particularly the concern was they acquired land in india by obviously baat over time you will work you will have money you will buy land with land comes aadhar card pan card this card that card so you are a bangladeshi in india and you have got all the cards including right to vote so there was a very strong movement in assam and ultimately rajiv gandhi government signed an agreement with assam in this agreement is what it was agreed everyone who came to assam notes mein hai assam accord bolte hain use everyone who came to assam before 1971 Shall be identified and their right to vote will be restricted for ten years. Everyone who came after nineteen seventy one will be identified and deported. That was the agreement, but government of India did not act on it for a long time, and that's why Ulfa came into being. कहाँ गया? पता नहीं ऊपर कहीं होगा. ठीक है, that's why Ulfa came into being because Ulfa was of the believer. That Indian government will not do anything. Oh, वाकई में Indian government ने कुछ नहीं किया बहुत लंबे समय तक अच्छा हुआ नहीं किया क्यों नहीं किया अभी हम समझ लेंगे ठीक है तो what is the government reaction since Ulfa creation? ठीक है there is to combat increase of violence the centre government started Operation Bajrang. It was to tackle Ulfa and in <coughs> there was a rest of around 1200 Ulfa rebels. President rule was imposed and there was imposition of Aswa. इसकी case study अभी हम करेंगे. So Afsa was imposed. Northeastern people see this law as only in the way Afsa is nothing but right to kill. जैसे आपने अभी recent case में देखा होगा जम्मू कश्मीर में भी Afsa लगा होता है. Recent case में two weeks before or uh, नहीं two weeks नहीं हो गया. I think time हो गया से. There was a clip which went viral in social media. There was an attack on some army soldiers. I think four of our soldiers murdered. and in response the army rounded up eight individuals and the a video clip of interrogation went viral they gagged them naked and they shove chili powder in their private parts and they beat them mercilessly it became very evident and it was it went viral ab dekhiye ab sochiye we remove 370 after that government of india has taken numerous efforts jitni suvidha sarkar aapko delhi mein nahi de rahi na usse teen guna suvidha wo jammu kashmir mein deti hai why we are doing this because we want the jammu kashmir to feel the part of india hota na when somebody is angry with you to aap chocolate leke jaate hain extra efforts to appease that person obviously baat otherwise aap phone pe baat karna ha phone baat busy hu main <laughs> but now you are taking extra efforts so same is here you have done something wrong there to so government of india is taking extra efforts kyunki humne itna effort lagaya गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ लॉट ऑफ फैसिलिटीज टू जम्मू कश्मीर एक छोटी सी क्लिप सारा रिवर्स हो गया बिकॉज द पीपल ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर विल रिमेंबर दैट ह्यूमिलिएशन ऑफ दो एट पीपल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली इमेजिन यू आर हर्ट यू आर एंग्री एंड देन समबडी कम्स टू हेल्प यू कंधा होता ना कंधा आओ रोज पे दैट पर्सन इज नॉट हेयर टू बेसिकली हेल्प यू बट टू टेक योर एडवांटेज बट उस समय में यू आर सो हर्ट दैट इवन दैट फेक सिंपथी appears more comforting that a harsh truth aise mein is clip ka fayda kaun uthayega pakistan pakistan will circulate this clip to every mobile phone every whatsapp group and will convince the people of jammu kashmir dekho ye hai bharat sarkar so because of that small stupidity of some soldiers main samajh sakta hu dekhi aap imagine kijiye you are a soldier you had a very good friend of yours who joined with you he was killed yesterday you are emotionally charged you are looking for revenge but understand you are wearing the uniform of government of india if you are doing anything wrong the people will not see it's your action the people will see it's the government's action unko ye nahi dikhega ki char soldiers who were emotionally charged because they lost their true friend yesterday they did this they will see the army of india and the government of india ordered this koi army duniya ki koi government duniya ki aisa order kabhi nahi dekhi because they never remember if mai ek harsh truth bol deta hu if few soldiers of our dies government ko itna takleef nahi hoga government is like hum pension de denge ye de denge wo de denge but even a even if a single civilian dies 
it can unleash revolutions which government cannot contain it literally happens civilian nahi marna chahiye ek baar ko hamare soldiers mar jate hain we will be hurt government ki baat kar raha hu main government will be hurt government will show displeasure phone bhu chada degi paise se de degi lekin agar ek civilian mar jata hai unjustly it can unleash revolutions which we cannot contain it happens always jaisa ab yahan pe dekhiye ulfa ne abhi surrender kar diya hai ab imagine kal army ke haath se koi ek asamiz mar jaye इनोसेंट असमीज हु मान लेते हैं हम स्कूल गोइंग चिल्ड्रन यूपीएससी की तैयारी कर रहा था तो गोली मार दी तुमने यूपीएससी की तैयारी की सजा तो मिलेगी ठीक है अब इमेजिन दिस दैट इज अ स्मॉल हो सकता है दैट मे बी द ओनली सन ऑफ देयर फैमिली ये जो उल्फा ने अग्रीमेंट साइन किया ना ये 2 सेकंड में रिवर्स हो जाएगा अंडरस्टैंड अ सिविलियन मस्ट नेवर बी किल्ड एट ऑल स्पेशली इन डिस्टर्ब्ड एरियाज बिकॉज़ इफ अ सिविलियन इज किल्ड द पीपल ऑफ दैट एरिया विल सी इट इज एज द एक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट not as individual action so this agreement will reverse within seconds within second ulfa will again take a weapon if a soldier accidentally i am saying kills a innocent assamese right now this ulfa people who have signed this agreement na, immediate reverse ho jayega wo they will take a weapon again because pressure hi itna build ho jayega unke upar the assamese people will pressurize ulfa so much kya aap kar kya rahe ho you are our people na you are surrendering to the indian government and indian government is killing our people ये बात समझ तो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस थिंग व्हेन यू गो टू द गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेज ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ऑलवेज बी अ कोल्ड ब्लडेड मैन और वुमन समटाइम यू विल बी अपॉइंटेड टू क्रिटिकल पोजीशन अगर आप आईपीएस बन गए तो यू मे बी अपॉइंटेड टू सीआरपीएफ बीएसएफ नेवर बी अ हॉट ब्लडेड पर्सन कोई भी इवेंट हो तो डू नॉट रिएक्ट इमीडिएटली एंड रिएक्ट विद सैनिटी अगर आपने इमोशन में आके कोई ऑर्डर दे दिया आप तो दे दोगे बट यू विल अनलीज द फोर्सेज जो आप कंटेन नहीं कर पाओगे आपका तो कुछ नहीं ऑर्डर दे दिया आप सोल्जर को आपको याद नहीं करने वाला बट हु एवरी वन विल रिमेंबर हु गवर्नमेंट सो वेन यू गो टू सर्विस ऑलवेज बिकम अ कोल्ड ब्लडेड पर्सन हैव सिंपति हैव कंपेशन बट डू नॉट अलाउ इट टू डिक्टेट योर माइंड यूज रीजन फर्स्ट सी वट हैपन वाई इट हैपन एंड देन टेक एक्शन अकॉर्डिंगली ऐसा एक्शन मत ले लेना जो बाद में बहुत तकलीफ कर जाए लोगों को आपको तो कुछ नहीं होने वाला आपका क्या आप तो एक्शन लोगे आपका क्या होगा जैसा था एक कमिटी बैठ जाएगी आपका सस्पेंशन हो जाएगा सरकार की तो बुरी हालत हो जाएगी क्लियर दिस मच दैट्स व्हाई दिस लॉ इज नोन एज राइट टू किल देर इफ यू गूगल दिस गूगल करना राइट टू किल नॉर्थ ईस्ट में सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ वीडियो एंड फोटोज यू विल फाइंड देवर वुमन आई थिंक मणिपुर का था या असम का कहीं का था there were some women who were naked and they went out the army camp with a big poster in which it was written indian army rapes us manipur ka tha okay jiska bhi tha to purani picture hai manipur ka jiska bhi tha you can see that ho sakta hai some soldiers may have done this things why it happens because these are disturbed areas remember where there is no rule of law rule of power prevails and you have a gun you can make use that gun to do anything प्रॉब्लम उसमें क्या आती है योर इंडिविजुअल एक्शन विल बी सीन एज द एक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट उन्होंने क्या लिखा इंडियन आर्मी रेपस ये नहीं कि दी सोल्जर बाय नेम रेपस उनकी नजर में यू आर वेरिंग यूनिफॉर्म यू डू एनीथिंग बैड इंडियन आर्मी हैज डन दैट थिंग सेम जो अभी सोल्जर्स के साथ हुआ दैट सोल्जर्स हुन दिस टू एट इंडिविजुअल जम्मू कश्मीर बहुत बुरा किया यू हैव रिवर्स वट एवर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अचीव इन द पास्ट टू और थ्री and you will behave exactly the same to aap pehle to maan loge but the second you will become 18 or above and have a job aap turant bhagoge us ghar se it always happens and the second you will taste liberty agar galti se aap meri class mein aa gaye theek hai and then to aap wapas ja hi nahi paoge you are like this conservative family i cannot tolerate theek hai samajh mein aaya but why would i happen the thing is nobody like like restrictions you are like i have a independent identity i may be living in this conservative family but i am not conservative 
I am a liberal who wants to explore the life. But my family is extremely conservative. Then you are like, you will feel so frustrated in that family. You would love to leave than to stay. Same thing happens in our country. If the majority of a country impose their values on everyone, the people who do not believe on those values, they will feel frustrated. And that frustration often leads to revolutions, revolts, insurgencies. Always, this is why India's track record is very good. Recent events are very good. India's track record is very good in containing or keeping this diverse family together. Look at USSR. One of the reasons of breaking of USSR was that when I USSR, I have to say, who is Russians? Russia was one of the country of USSR. There were numerous ethnicities in USSR. But Russians dominate that entire USSR so much, the other ethnicity, they resented USSR, Russian control. One of the reasons of disintegration of Russia was this. Same, there was a country on the map called Serbia. It is no longer a country. Serbia was a culturally diverse country. And in that country, they tried to impose one way of living. And it disintegrated into six countries. Now, Yugoslavia and other countries made it. Serbia was a country earlier. Same, you can see Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, the Buddhist majority of Sri Lanka tried to impose Sinhalese language to the Tamilian Indians. Tamilian Sri Lankans. And the result was civil war in Sri Lanka. That concluded in 2007 or 8. Look at your nearby Myanmar. Myanmar, the Buddhist majority tried to impose their way of living on Rohingya Muslim. The outcome is a war. Look at Bangladesh. Bangladeshi people, they said to West Pakistan, we may be Muslims, but we are Bengali first. We are small heighted, we are dark complexion, and we speak Bengali. Because Western Pakistan, mein, they, have a, uh, they have a hilly culture. So because of that, they are fair, they are tall, and they have uh, speak, the majority of them speak Punjabi. Urdu koi nahi bolta Pakistan mein. Urdu was imposed by Jinnah from above. So Bengali people said, we may be Muslims. We may be a part of one country, but we are Bengali first. We are, sm we are small heighted, dark complexion, and Bengali speaker. We are not like you. And what Pakistan committed a mistake, they imposed West Pakistan values on East Pakistan. Hone tha division. Pakistan ke division mein humne te kya? Hamara kya hai? Humne to majhe liye. Siri si baat hai. If you have a trouble in your house and I don't like you, so I will, jab bhi aapke ghar mein trouble hoga, to mein to majhe lege aai jaunga. So the thing is, Pakistan created that trouble in Bangladesh, humne to uska fayda uthaya. The same way, if we will create trouble in our country, Pakistan's ka fayda uthayega. Very simple logic. So remember, never impose majority way of living on minorities. When I say minority, I'm not talking about religious minorities. I'm talking about value minority. No, do not impose Hindi on Tamils. Neither impose Tamil on Hindi. Do not impose North Indians way of living on Northeast or South or West or East. Jisko jo language bolni hai, they shall speak it. Oh, India is a diverse country. Every 200 kilometers pe India mein accent badal jate hai. Food badal jata hai. Clothing badal jati hai. Culture badal jata hai. And we maintain this diversity kaise? We never imposed anything. Humne kabhi kuch impose nahi kya. We never imposed Hindi. Aapko pata hai hoga, official language act mein. There are three languages you can choose. Hindi, English and any regional language you want. We never imposed Hindi on anyone. We never imposed one way of living on anyone until recently. Aisa nahi hua kabhi. North Eastern people said we want separate rights. We were okay, enjoy ya. That tension hai. We gave them Article 371A2 leke. Nagaland, for example, has same rights like Jammu Kashmir except a constitution and a flag. No law of parliament applies to Nagaland without Nagaland legislature approving it. Why we gave this freedom? We made Schedule 5 and Schedule 6. Schedule 5 mein aap ghus nahi sakte ho. Article 19 mein you have right to travel throughout the territory of India. It has a restriction. Schedule 5. Schedule 5 areas mein, these are tribal areas, aap ghus nahi sakte bina permission of those tribes. Why we have done this? To protect their culture. 
जब आपको लगेगा इन योर फैमिली योर वे ऑफ लिविंग आपका खाने का तरीका बोलने का तरीका सोचने का तरीका If it is respected in your family, you will never leave that family. But if you are in a family that does not respect your ideas, it imposes its ideas. नहीं भाई ये कपड़े पहनो, ये खाना खाओ. So would you like to live with that family? Nobody would like to live that family until unless you are मजबूर. माँ ने धमकी दी है फिलहाल भी लूँगी. तो रुकना पड़ेगा. ठीक है. बात clear है. So remember that it's a very important point because when we will discuss remaining point, ये काम आएगा. Next, India's partition and ये पॉइंट मैंने आपको बताई दिया लास्ट नंबर ऑफ पीपल माइग्रेटेड दे वर सेंटीमेंट्स अगेंस्ट द माइग्रेशन ये सेंटीमेंट नॉर्थ ईस्ट में बहुत कॉमन है नेक्स्ट इज इकोनॉमिक डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दे इज अ परसेप्शन इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट दे फील दैट दिल्ली जो क्या करता है दिल्ली एक्सप्लॉयड रिसोर्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन द नेम ऑफ डेवलपिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट ये फीलिंग है एज आई हैव ऑलवेज टोल्ड यू एरिस्टोटल ने कहा है ये इनइक्वालिटी वेदर रियल और एपरेंट लीड्स टू रिवोल्यूशन असमानता अन्याय इन इक्वालिटी और इनजस्टिस या है या आपको लगता है वो है हमेशा रिवोल्यूशन को दावत देता है ऑलवेज एड एपमेंट तो उनको लगता है ऐसा नॉर्थ ईस्ट में एक जनरल फीलिंग है दैट दिल्ली जो होती है दिल्ली इज एक्सप्लॉइडिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन द नेम ऑफ डेवलपिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड दैट्स वाई दे स्ट्रॉन्ग एंटी इंडिया सेंटिमेंट नागालैंड में आज भी इफ यू गो एंड यू विल फाइंड सम वॉल्स ऑफ नागालैंड जहां पर आज भी लिखा होगा Nagas are not Indians. Indians are not Nagas. जैसे साउथ में अगर आप जाएंगे तमिलनाडु पर्टिकुलरली वहां पे आज भी मिल जाता है हिंदी नेवर इंग्लिश फॉर एवर इट इज इट इज अ रीजनल डिमांड अब जैसे कर्नाटका इज डिमांडिंग फॉर इट्स फ्लैग क्या लगता है दे देना चाहिए क्यों बोलो मैं भारत सरकार नहीं हूं बोलो फील फील टू स्पीक क्या हुआ क्यों इट विल हर्ड यूनिटी ऑफ इंडिया अमेरिका हैज Fifty states. Every state has a constitution and a flag. I don't think they are less patriotic. हमारे पता नहीं हम सब में एक problem है because we feel that the person who does not speak our language, a person who does not, जैसे हम बोलते हैं ना कि वाह हमारी wavelength match नहीं कर रही है. A person with whom हमारी wavelength match नहीं कर रही है. That person हाँ vibes. हमारी vibes match नहीं कर रही है. That person is not a good person. एक feeling रहती है हमारे अंदर. Why? Why don't we acknowledge diversity? Just because a person does not speak my language, does not and thinks like me, it does not mean that person is wrong. I may not agree with that point. That's a definitely okay. Must points agree नहीं करूँगा. I will not agree with that point, but I will respect that person's right to speak, right to eat, right to live the way that person want. And remember, with respect of diversity comes unity. इसलिए preamble में फोर्थ प्रिंसिपल क्या है हमारा फर्टिनिटी जस्टिस लिबर्टी इक्वालिटी एंड फर्टिनिटी फर्टिनिटी के आगे हमने क्या लिखा है अश्योरिंग द डिग्निटी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एंड द यूनिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ द नेशन हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मेकर को भी पता था व्हेन यू रिस्पेक्ट योर फर्टिनिटी व्हेन यू रिस्पेक्ट योर ब्रदरहुड व्हेन रिस्पेक्ट योर सिस्टरहुड यू स्ट्रेंथन नेशनल यूनिटी अगर आप अपने वे ऑफ लाइफ इंपोज करोगे नहीं भाई तू हिंदी बोलेगा हिंदी बोलेगा वो कहेगा नहीं बेटा मैं कुछ भी नहीं बोलूंगा मैं जा रहा हूं If you say to a Tamil person, speak Hindi, that person will never speak Hindi. Rather, they will like, okay, my ra ho gaya Indian Union se, ab main naya desh banunga, Dravidian land. If you say to the Nagaland people that you will not have Schedule Six, you will not have an online permit, they are like, okay, bye bye. Understand? Respect diversity, and I can guarantee diversity strengthens unity. It never weakens unity. Or chaho to apne ghar mein try karke dekh lena. Try to impose your way of living on your sibling. Wo aapko bata dega. ठीक है? <laughs> चलिए आगे देखते हैं नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एक्सटर्नल सपोर्ट मैंने आपको बताया था अगर हमारे इफ दे इज समथिंग रॉन्ग विद कंट्री दे आर पीपल आउटसाइड कंट्री जो बस बैठे हैं टू टेक द एडवांटेज एंड दैट नेम इज जैसे हमने मजे लिए बांग्लादेश वॉर में वो भी मजे लेने के लिए बैठे हैं इफ यू विल गिव दम अपॉर्चुनिटी दे विल टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट लास्ट मैंने बताई दिया आफ्पा मोस्ट हेटेड लॉ इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट नफरत करते हैं लोग इससे अभी भी करते हैं नो डाउट वाई दे हेट दिस बिकॉज दे सी दिस एज अ राइट टू किल ठीक है सो दीज आर द रीजन दैट वी हैव इंसर्जेंसी इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन जनरल असम इन पर्टिकुलर अब वट आर द चैलेंजेस आफ्टर दिस अग्रीमेंट बिकॉज वन फैक्शन ऑफ उल्फा साइन दिस एक और फैक्शन ने साइन नहीं किया है 
दैट फैक्शन इज लेड बाय परेश बरुआ उसके अलावा उल्फा हैज लिंक विद आईएसआई ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड अदर इंसर्जेंट आउटफिट लाइक हरकतुल जिहाद ए इस्लामी एंड अलकायदा व्हिच प्रोवाइड देम वेपन्स एंड अदर काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स और एको कंट्री है चाइना चीना ठीक है चीना हर चीज में उंगली करता है ठीक है चीना नॉर्थ ईस्ट में जो इंसर्जेंट्स है उनको जो मैक्सिमम सपोर्ट आता है वेपन्स मेटेरियल एंड ड्रग्स का चाइना से आता है ये सबको पता है एंड देखिए इसमें As I told you, be a cold-blooded person. इसमें आप बुरा मत मानिए क्योंकि अगर हमें मौका मिलेगा चाइना के साथ हम भी यही करेंगे ठीक है इसमें कोई बुरी बात नहीं है दैट हाउ स्टेट क्राफ्ट वर्क यू कीप योर एनिमी इंटरनली ट्रबल्ड सो दैट दैट एनिमी कैन नॉट स्ट्रेंथन इट सेल्फ जितना इंडिया अपने आप में लगा रहेगा उतना इंडिया का फोकस अपने आप को ताकतवर बनाने से हटेगा उतना ही चाइना को फायदा है सेम थिंग वी विल विल डू विद एनी कंट्री एवरी वन विल डू दैट चलिए अब जल्दी से केस स्टडी कर लेते हैं आसपा की आफा वॉज पास इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एट बाय द पार्लियामेंट इट प्रोवाइड स्पेशल लीगल सिक्योरिटी टू आर्म फोर्सेज कैरिंग आउट ऑपरेशन इन ट्रबल्ड एरिया ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट लेटर ऑन इट वॉज एक्सटेंडेड टू पंजाब एंड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटीज इट वॉज एक्सटेंडेड टू जम्मू कश्मीर सो इनिशियली ये आया था नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लिए देन केम टू पंजाब एंड देन टू जम्मू कश्मीर AFSA is enforced only after the area is declared as disturbed area. So first you have to declare an area as disturbed area. Then AFSA come into play. How to declare disturbed area? Please remember this provision. The state government can suggest whether the act is required to be enforced or not. State government recommendation दे सकता है, but it is not required. Under Armed Forces Special Power, Jammu Kashmir Special Powers Act, another Armed Forces Act. the power to declare disturbed area is with governor and central government so under afspa state government can give recommendations which are not binding on the union if the governor of a state obviously baat hai the agent of the union government or the union government itself thinks that this area required to be declared disturbed area it can declare it without the approval of any state government and once it happens you have something called entry number 2a niche aa gaya there is entry number 2a in the union list under this it says that the union government can send its armed forces to assist any state in law and order problems so kaise states kaise hai first you declare an area as a disturbed area the two people who can do this central government or the governor once it is done afspa come into play then by using the power of entry 2a the union government can send armed forces chronology clear hai sabko aage dekhte hain currently in in state mein laga hua hai dekh lena ab provisions kya hai why it is called right to kill because provisions bade kamal ke hain let's see an area which is declared disturbed an army officer is legally free to carry out following operation point number 1 that person can use force even to the cause of death aisa aapko afspa ke alawa kahin nahi milta jaise for example delhi mein if you have seen protest to police walon ke paas kya hota hai lathiya jaisi protest hota hai police kya karti hai sabse guns le leti hai okay so imagine you are a si sub inspector you are managing a crowd अब वो वॉयेंट हो गया आपके पास गन है उस वक्त आप ये परवाह नहीं करोगे कि रिवोल्यूशन हो जाएगा उस वक्त तो आप कहोगे मैं ही रिवोल्यूशन लाऊंगा ठीक है अब उस केस में आपने तो खुद को बचा लिया बट यू विल अनलीस द फोर्सेज जो गवर्नमेंट की नाक में दम कर देगी इसलिए जान बुझ के इफ यू सी दिस द गवर्नमेंट टेक्स ऑल आर्म्ड वेपन फ्रॉम पुलिस एज सुन एज प्रोटेस्ट स्टार्ट उनको लाठी दे दी जाती है अगर प्रोटेस्ट ज्यादा सीवियर होगा तो वाटर कैनन मिल जाता है बुलेट रबर्स मिल जा रबर बुलेट्स मिल जाती हैं, सब कुछ मिल जाता है सिवाय गन्स के बिकॉज आप मैं सही बोलता हूं कोई बोलता नहीं है बात सरकार की नजर में अगर आप मर भी जाएंगे इतना तकलीफ सरकार को नहीं होगा इट विल गिव यू पेंशन इट विल गिव यू मटिया बेनिफिट एंड इट विल गिव यू अ मेडल एंड द वर्ल्ड विल क्राई ओवर यू लेकिन अगर आपकी बुलेट से कोई इनोसेंट मर गया तो बेमतलब का बखेड़ा बन जाएगा उसकी लाश पे लोग ऐसे बैठेंगे सर्कल लगा के कि सरकार नहीं निकल पाएगी वहां से 
चक्रव्यू बन जाता है वो ठीक है रिमेम्बर दिस पॉइंट सो यहाँ पे क्या है एक्सेप्ट फॉर दैट नॉर्मल केसेस यहाँ पे एन आर्मी ऑफिसर कैन यूज फोर्स इवन टू द कॉज ऑफ डेथ इट्स वेरी सीवियर एंड कमाल की बात यह है इफ यू इफ इवन यू नॉन सस्पीशन पे ही भी गोली चलाई जा सकती है अब पहला पॉइंट यह है बड़ा ही कमाल का पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दे कैन डिस्ट्रॉय एनी शेल्टर एनी शेल्टर वेदर प्राइवेट और गवर्नमेंट विच दे फील कैन बी यूज फॉर इंसर्जेंट एक्टिविटीज और आर्म एक्टिविटीज थर्ड थिंग दे कैन अरेस्ट एनी पर्सन विदाउट वॉरेंट इवन ऑन सस्पीशन उसके अलावा दे कैन एंटर सर्च विदाउट वॉरेंट एनी प्रमाइस और एनी व्हीकल इवन ऑन सस्पीशन दे कैन किल एनी वन इवन ऑन सस्पीशन दे कैन अरेस्ट एनी वन इवन ऑन सस्पीशन दे कैन एंटर एट एनी प्लेस इवन ऑन सस्पीशन अब प्रॉब्लम कहां आती है प्रॉब्लम यह है दीज आर वेरी वास्ट पावर्स वेरी 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 वास्ट पावर्स एंड आपको अगर पता हो जम्मू कश्मीर में दीज आर फिनोमिना हाफ विडोज जम्मू कश्मीर में फिनोमिना हो जाता है जिसे बोलते हैं हाफ विडोज दीज आर दुमेन्स हजबेंड हैज बीन टेकन बाई आर्म फोर्सेज एंड हु नेवर केम बैक एंड दे डू नॉट नो वेदर दीज पर्सन आर डेड और अलाइफ अगर आपने शाहिद हैदर मूवी देखी हो हैदर ही मूवी है शाहिद मूवी है हाँ हैदर यू सीन दैदर मूवी ऑफ शाहिद कपूर उसमें सेम पर्सन था हिज फादर और समबडी वॉज टेकन बाय द आर्म्ड फोर्सेस ही रन फ्रॉम पिलर टू पोस्ट टू फाइंड वेयर इज माय फादर उसे मिलते नहीं है एंड में बहुत ड्रामा होता है पॉलिटिकल रीजन है बट नन दस इट्स वेरी ट्रू अंडरस्टैंड वेयर एवर देर इज नो रूल ऑफ लॉ द रूल ऑफ पावर पे विल्स एंड रूल ऑफ पावर में कभी ना कभी कुछ हो जाता है यू आर फायरिंग अ बुलेट अब वो बुलेट अच्छे व्यक्ति को भी लग सकती है और बुरे को भी लग सकती है अच्छे को लगी तो कहानी खत्म यू विल अनलीस सम फोर्सेस यू कैन नॉट कंट्रोल अब जैसे मैं फॉर एग्जांपल आई ऑलवेज टेक दिस केस स्टडी तो मान लेते हैं यू आर एन आर्मी सोल्जर पोस्टेड ऑन आ इन जम्मू कश्मीर ऑन अ बैरिकेड ये स्टडे देर वॉज अ बॉम्बिंग एंड योर फ्रेंड डाइड डियर फ्रेंड डाइड देयर ही हेल्प एन एल्डरली इन जम्मू कश्मीर हु टर्न आउट टू बी अड बॉम्बर अब इमेजिन स्मॉल स्टूडेंट और समथिंग इज रनिंग टू वर्ड यू अब बच्चा है क्या पता क्यों रन कर रहा है यू हैव अ गन यू हैव आफ्पा यू हैव गन एंड यू हैव आफ्पा अब यू हैव टू ऑप्शन फायर और नॉट फायर इफ यू फायर एंड दैट पर्सन टर्न आउट टू बी इनोसेंट आप तो गए गए आप सरकार को लेके डूबोगे इफ यू डोंट फायर एंड दैट पर्सन टर्न आउट टू बी असुसाइड बॉम्बर तो आप गए एंड <laughs> ऊपर से यू आर इमोशनली चार्ज because you just lost your friend who was just trying to help somebody in such scenario sometimes untoward incidents happens army ki bhi problem samjhiye they are dealing with a troubled situation these are not soldiers who wear uniform these are insurgent who lives among common people to find out who is common who is insurgent is virtually impossible a very good example afghanistan After 2001 attack on America, America entered into Afghanistan within six months. It toppled the Afghan Taliban government. After that, for 20 years, 20 years, America was fighting Taliban in Afghanistan. America went out of Afghanistan within a week. Taliban was in power. What happened? Why America failed so much? Difference is when Taliban was a government, it was identifiable. When Taliban became insurgents. it became non identifiable it lives among the people american soldiers of course just like every soldier in the world used weapons and those weapons kills insurgents as well as innocents and i have aapko bataya ab imagine i am taliban you are an american soldier you have just killed an innocent so what i will do i will go to the family of that innocent and i was like dekha these american soldiers are not here to save you they are here to kill your relatives i will poison their mind and along with that i will poison those five poisons will poison everyone else the taliban came into power within a week because america was controlling their own gun the, as soon as the gun is removed you are again in power this is a difference between soft power and hard power i put a gun over your head i can make you do whatever i want but you will do as long as the gun is on your head as soon as the gun is removed you will behave the way you want 
देन यू विल ट्रीट मी लाइक एनीथिंग बस सॉफ्ट पावर मैंने आपको क्या पता है पावर ऑफ लव पावर ऑफ अट्रैक्शन द वे फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू लव समी यू स्टार्ट मेन्यूपुलेटिंग यूर सेल्फ यू डोंट लाइक समथिंग यू स्टिल विल डू दैट not because you like it but because you want to stay with that person because that person like this you like that person so you manipulate some part of your identity aise ladko ke case mein aapko nahana pasand nahi sadi ho tak theek hai ab you have a girlfriend she is like mere paas tabhi aaoge jab nahake aaoge then you are like main roz nahunga theek hai but from main 10 din mein ek baar nahunga to main roz nahunga how it happened because you love somebody and to be with that person you have to bring this change in your personality that is the power of soft power hard power can never eradicate soft power so government of india is taking effort to build soft power in jammu kashmir that small clip reverse everything back sabko samajh mein aaya ab ye jo provision hai ye kya karte hain sometimes it leads to casualties and those casualties sometimes they are आर्मी की गलती कई बार नहीं भी होती है यार यू डू नॉट नो ना हु इज इन हुट हुई सुसाइड बॉम्बर्स यू समाइम यूज वेपन सम इनोसेंट गेट किल्ड अब वो इनोसेंट के क्या होते हैं दे इनोसेंट है फैमिलीज उस इनोसेंट की वो पिक्चर बनाते हैं उल्फा टाइप की ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इंसर्जेंट दे विल टेक अ पिक्चर ऑफ दैट इनोसेंट किल्ड बॉय गर्ल वट एवर एंड विल शो टू एवरी वन देखो इसे देखो इट वॉज ही वॉज और शी वॉज किल्ड बाय दिस सोल्जर Indian army is killing your people, and you are like, "Ha, boy, bol to sahi raha." Baat samajh mein aaya. So that is the problem we have. That's why common people see this as right to kill. Why? Because it makes no distinction between a peaceful gathering and a violent mob. It says that no prosecution can happen without the approval of central government. Without central government's approval, it cannot happen. Even G1 Reddy Committee, 2005, my point gave me the. जीवन रेबिडी कमिटी ने बोला था रिपील आफ्सपा रिपील आफ्सपा एंड पुट्स इस प्रोविजन इन अदर लॉस लाइक एनएसए यूएपीए इसके अलावा देर वॉज अ केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में केस गया था नोन एस नागा पीपल्स राइट केस इट वॉज एन एनजीओ फॉर्म बाय द नागा पीपल 1997 में द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सैड दैट सेक्शन थ्री सेक्शन थ्री डील्स विद डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ डिस्टर्ब एरिया अंडर सेक्शन थ्री ऑफ आफ्सपा यू डिक्लेयर एन एरिया एज अ disturbed area supreme court said that under section 3 of afspa does not confer arbitrary and unguided power to declare an area as a disturbed area it means there should be a periodic review means if you declare any area as a disturbed area under section 3 you must carry out a periodic review every around 6 month aur uske baad se koi review hua nahi hai क्योंकि सब लोग भूल गए होंगे जजमेंट को क्लियर है अगला पॉइंट रीसेंट में देवर द लास्ट केस इंक्वायरी एक्स्ट्रा जुडिशियल एग्जीक्यूशन विक्टिम फैमिलीज एसोसिएशन ये नॉर्थ ईस्ट की है एक्स्ट्रा जुडिशियल विक्टिम फैमिलीज एसोसिएशन मतलब ऑफ कोर्स द पीपल हु किल्ड बाय द आर्म्ड फोर्सेज ड्यूरिंग देयर ऑपरेशन इन दिस केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट गेव अ जजमेंट वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बट अ ट्रबलिंग जजमेंट फॉर द आर्मी इट सेट इट वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द प्ली ऑफ हंड्रेड ऑफ फैमिलीज फ्रॉम मणिपुर they what they were demanding they were demanding a special investigation team led by the supreme court to investigate army and the police for their extra judicial killings it does happen many time ab what the supreme court said it said indefinite deployment of armed forces ye baat to bilkul sahi hai dekhiye if in an area you cannot govern without armed forces it means there is no governance remember you can come into power by violence but you cannot remain in power by violence you can remain in power by consent of the people only chahe wo manufactured ho chahe wo real ho it doesn't matter if you are having army at a place forever and then you say that those people support you sawal hi nahi hota that is supreme court said indefinite deployment of the armed forces in the name of restoring normalcy it mocks at a democratic process apart it symbolizes failure of ye ye dikhata hai ki aap aaj bhi wahan ke logo ko you are unable to win the hearts of the people of that area that you have to use guns baat samajh mein aayi it's very important jaise aap example lete hain 
Delhi mein, if you go into malls and any place, would you see guards with guns? No, guards are normal, indigo, wo, paas that metal detector is there. It's not kuch nahi milta. If you go in Pakistan, even in normal malls, you will have guards with guns. So which shows better governance? India. India may the malls may you do not have guards with gun because suicide bomber. It shows that the governance quality of the lease better. Remember the less police, the less police you see daily, the better is the quality of governance. The better is the acceptance of the government rules. The more police you see, the more army armed force people you see in your locality, the lesser is the quality of governance. It's a prime indicator. That is what Supreme Court is saying. Indefinite deployment of armed forces, it basically mocks the democracy in India and it symbolizes the failure of civil administration. Second point, it doesn't matter who is the victim, a common person, a militant, even a terrorist. Nor does it matter whether the aggressor was a common person or the state. Matlab, the person who got killed is a common man, army man, terrorist, doesn't matter. And the person who killed is a common man, insurgent, terrorist, or even the army. It doesn't matter. The rule of law is for both. Badi badi baate, hai? So all this badi baate you have to remember. Ye kaha kaha ma sakti hai? Ethics. Ethics I told you. Pata nahi, aap log kyon padhte hai? Samaj nahi aata. Ethics paper padhne ka nahi hota. It is general life. If you apply ethical principles in general life, you ethics ka paper so they, You can quote this judgment literally. You quote kar sakte. If you are writing ethics paper and you want to say something and you want to show moral standard, you write dena as Supreme Court said in this judgment that victim or the aggressor may be anyone, yet the rule of law applies. Now, what is this? It's an ethical statement. You can use this in ethics paper, essay, or interview. Mein, jo badi baat Clear? Aage dekhte hai. There is no concept of absolute immunity from trial, even if an army man has committed the offense. So that caused by security forces in disturbed area. Even if the victim is a criminal, even if the victim is a criminal, militant or terrorist or insurgent, it should be. So under this judgment, Supreme Court has established if there is any death in disturbed area, it must be inquired. Now, army has what response the army has argued that removal of this power or immunity from prosecution. To prosecute any person, you require the approval of central government. Now, now, after the judgment, all inquiry will happen automatically if there is any killing in disturbed area. If there is any killing in disturbed area will lead to the demoralization of armed force. Because the army narrative is the same. Because these are disturbed area and these are peculiar situations. In that case, imagine you are an army officer and you know that if someone is wrong, why is it not a militant? Why is it not a militant? And you will be deprived of your rank, your benefits, for, and you know how the government inquiry is going to be done. Yes, it will lead to demoralization. So we have to achieve a balance here. And the best way is to remove armed forces as soon as possible from an area. And how will it happen? Like we have with the Ulfa. Promise them. You want independent rights? Have it. You want separate governance area? Have it. You want constitutional amendment? Have it. That's how you convince people. As a 371, say, article hai, Nagaland, jitne bhi hai, we have given them special rights so that they do not feel frustrated or they do not demand separate state. Aap notice karna kahi pe bhi. Is a Darjeeling, aapka West Bengal mein ho gaya, Vidarb, Maharashtra mein. Kaun sa? Saurashtra kaan pe hai? Gujarat mein Saurashtra. Why these are demand? Because they feel deprived. Unko lagta hai, the majority of that state is dominating them. And that's why they demand separate rights. Now imagine kariye, if those people are given separate rights, they will demand nahi karenge, separate state ki, separate nation ki. Clear hai, toh army ka point bhi di gaya. Government ka stand kya hai? Government ka stand simple sa hai. Government has asked the Supreme Court to reconsider. Government kariye, please yaar, reconsider kar lo. Thik hai? Last asam accord, man, yaar, hama time badi jaldi ho gaya kya? Abhi ek ghanta aur bacha hai na?
ठीक है तो यार पूरा नहीं हो पाया असम अकॉर्ड रह गया हमारा ठीक है असम अकॉर्ड में जल्दी से थोड़ा सा बता दो पांच मिनट हमारा बचा है असम अकॉर्ड में क्या अग्री हुआ था दैट एवरी वन केम बिफोर नाइनटीन वी विल आइडेंटिफाई दैम एंड रेस्ट्रिक वोटिंग राइट फॉर टेन ईयर आफ्टर नाइनटीन वी विल डिपोर्ट दैम इसी प्रोसेस में लाया गया है आप इसीलिए असम का एनआरसी हुआ था आफ्टर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑर्डर इसमें कितने लोग मिले हमें अब क्वेश्चन ये करोगे एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन आपने नॉन इंडियन ढूंढ लिए क्या करना है इनका कहा कहा डिपोर्ट करो कौ बांग्लादेश लेगा पाकिस्तान लेगा कैसे भेज दो कैसे फेंको ने <laughs> प्रॉब्लम ये है आप कर लो करोगे क्या इनका अब इमेजिन योर सेल्फ यू आर वन ऑफ दिस वन मिलियन पीपल यू आर इन अ डिटेंशन कैंप क्योंकि देखिए पाकिस्तान आपको लेगा नहीं बांग्लादेश आपको लेगा नहीं इंडिया में आपको रख नहीं सकते बिकॉज नाउ यू आर नॉन सिटीजन नॉन सिटीजन मीन्स यू कैनॉट है जॉब यू कैनॉट है हाउस यू कैनॉट है एनी थिंग यू आर इन अ डिटेंशन कैंप कितना मुश्किल होगा मेरे लिए मेरे मतलब पाकिस्तान के लिए टू कम टू यू गिव यू वेपन एंड से मैं तुम्हारी फैमिली की टेक केयर कर लूंगा जाओ दो तीन लोगों को टपका दो यू आर लाइक बिल्कुल जैसा हुक्म आपका अंडरस्टैंड मैं डिबेट नहीं कर पाया पूरा बट वी आर डूइंग विद दिस स्टूपिडिटी ऑफकोर्स इंडिया इज नॉट अ धर्मशाला ऐसा नहीं कि कोई भी आएगा इंडिया में रह लेगा वी हैव टू फाइंड दम बट द प्रॉब्लम इज अगर आपने फाइंड कर भी लिया इनका करोगे क्या यू कैन नॉट थ्रो दम आउट ऑफ द कंट्री या तो है नहीं कि उन्हें शिप में बिठाया सी में फेंक दिया बिकॉज यू आर अ डेमोक्रेसी यू आर नॉट हिटलर रिजीम सेम प्रॉब्लम हिटलर के साथ आई थी वट हिटलर डिड इज First Hitler took away the citizenship of the Jew people. They became non-citizens. A Hitler had a problem that these Jew people are in Germany. If he knew, if he threw them out of the Germany, the world will get to know what he is doing with Jew. If he keep them in Germany, they are a drain on the resources. कम से कम ऐसे आप के इसमें ले लेते हैं. You are right now earning. कुछ भी कर रहे हो, रिक्शा चला रहे हो, कुछ भी कर रहे हो. You are earning for yourself. Government of India को खिला नहीं रहा खाना. But when you are in detention camps, I have to feed you because if you die, or at this time, mobile, every person's hand. Let's imagine. 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 Let's अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉब्लम ये है कि यू हैव फाउंड आउट दिस पीपल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू बट वट वुड यू डू विद नो बडी विल टेक दम एंड नाउ यू दे आर अ ड्रेन ऑन योर रिसोर्सेस यू स्पेंड करोड़ और रुपीज टू फाइंड आउट वट पोटेंशियल ह्यूमन बॉम्ब्स क्योंकि ये लोग अनएम्प्लॉयड डिटेंशन कैंप में है कुछ तो करेंगे एंड हाउ इजी फॉर पाकिस्तान चाइना To influence them, give them weapon, give them ammunition, and have a war against India. जब आपके पास कुछ बचा ही नहीं तो लड़ने में क्या problem है? This will happen. This is the problem. C A में भी same problem आएगी. If you make N R C all India, you will find non Indians. But the problem is, what would you do with them? How would you feed them? How would they survive? And what was the solution? Hitler find out. किसी को पता है? Gas chamber. Hitler was like, I cannot, huh? Concentration camp. I cannot throw them out of the country because the world will get to know. If I keep them in the country, they are a drain on the resources of the country. So the final solution is a bad word. So the final solution to the Jew problem, it is called, was put them in detention camp, kill everyone. Kahani khatam. हम वो भी नहीं कर सकते. We are a democracy, और आज के समय में हर किसी के पास मोबाइल फोन है और वो भी इंटरनेट के साथ. A video will be captured. It will be circulated around the world. So the so-called the mother of democracy, the Vishu Guru, उसकी इज्जत को यहाँ से यहाँ आने में seconds लगेंगे. बात समझ में आ रही है? अभी सोचिए केवल असम में किया है हमने तो हमें कितने लोग मिले हैं? और इसमें 80 percent Hindus हैं. Congratulations to also. ठीक है. Majority of them are Hindus actually. तो अब BJP कह रही है कि ये ये गलत हुआ है ना इसी दोबारा करवाना है मैं. ठीक है. Because The lie that was propagated was that majority of the people who came from Bangladesh are Muslim immigrants. But when NRC happened, eighty percent turned out to be Hindus in NRC. Okay, who was in supervision? Me, who was? Supreme Court. Ke. This happened under supervision of Supreme Court. Supreme Court monitored this entire NRC. 
so there is a guarantee there was no foul play and this no foul play may they were 80 lakh i think 10 lakh hai na 8 lakh there were 8 lakh hindus and the remaining were the other minorities including buddhists very few and muslims so majority turns out to be hindus and now now they are non citizen they cannot have jobs they cannot have houses they cannot do anything in india and now they are what they are running bombs this is the problem we have so what solution mere paas iska nahi hai the only solution that i have is first have a open discussion aur koi bhi iske khilaf bole to use anti national bol ke jail mein mat daliye have an open discussion in parliament first decide ki when we will do nrc all india and we will find non indians i can so yahan pe agar 10 lakh mile to all india mein lagbhag 4 5 crore to honge minimum keh raha hu main 140 crore mein aaram se mere ko lagta hai 10 crore ke aas paas mil jayenge aapko ab in 10 crore logo ke sath pehle aap decide kar lo karna kya hai because you will make every indian to come to government offices with the certificate to prove that they are indian citizens it will not happen because aapke paas birth certificate hoga aapse pehli generations ke paas usually birth certificate nahi hota tha pehli problem second problem upper caste can prove that their ancestor were in india the lower caste who never had any property because zamindari was in upper caste lower caste ke paas saboot hi nahi hoga ki their parents or their forefathers were in india wo kahan se prove karenge majority of india mein document maintenance is very bad upper caste to asani jaise hamare case mein i can easily prove my grandfather was a zamindar to inke paas itne gaon the hum aise prove kar denge but imagine the us gaon ke log the six gaons that we had to in 2020 i am sorry in 2010 i am talking about wo gaon ke logo ke paas to zameen nahi hai because that is why was my grandfather's zameen he was a zamindar wo panch gaon kaise prove karenge kyunki hum wo zameen hum kai sadiyon se hamare paas hai अब तो बहुत कम हो गई कई सदियों से हमारे पास वो जमीन थी तो जितने लोग उस जमीन पर रह रहे थे बट दे वर दे वर नॉन ओनर ऑफ दैट प्रॉपर्टी वो कहां से प्रूव करेंगे क्योंकि परदादा इंडिया में पैदा हुए थे रिमेंबर दिस एंटायर प्रोसेस ऑफ एनआरसी विल हर्ट पुअर वेरी मच मिडिल क्लास वेरी मच अब इमेजिन करिए आप बांग्लादेशी इमिग्रेंट है लिटरली और मुस्लिम भी है एंड अभी एनआरसी नहीं है you have come to your parents came to india you are here you cleared civil services you have every certificate you cleared civil services now you are an is officer theek hai you have been declassified as non indian aapki job chali jayegi theek hai but aapka dost to hoga is usse aap bologe beta jaldi kar ek certificate bana de mera in which okay in this they secondary documents those people who cannot prove their citizenship they can produce secondary document secondary document mein aapka dost is usse bolo beta mera certificate bana de wo bana dega do second mein to remember neither the muslim will be hurt nor the hindus will be hurt in this the rich one they have money they can get any certificate made jo sarkar mangegi wo kisi ko bhi paida kar denge certificate mein jisko wo paida karwana chahte hai jahan pe kisko takleef hogi poor people the middle class will become poor the poor class will become beggar and we will spend crores and crores of rupees on an exercise to find what in the end bombs तो ओनली सोल्यूशन इज पहले आप डिसाइड कर लो इनके साथ करोगे क्या हैव एन ओपन डिबेट इन पार्लियामेंट एंड डू नॉट कॉल एनी वन एंटी नेशनल इफ दे से अगेंस्ट दिस ऑर्डर हैव एन ओपन डिबेट कम टू द कंक्लूजन व्हाट विल यू डू विद दोस पीपल उसके बाद कर लो एनआर कम से कम हमें पता तो होगा करना क्या इन लोगों का अभी तो हमें पता ही नहीं है क्या करोगे इन लोगों का क्लियर है तो वन पार्ट बाकी डिबेट में कर नहीं पाया एवरीथिंग इज रिटर्न हियर प्लीज रेड दैट सी वगैरह सबको लिखा हुआ है प्लीज रीड द नोटिफिकेशन ठीक है चलिए बाय बाय देन हैव अ नाइस डे वी विल मीट अगेन